12 all next. 12 all. So, uh, for everyone watching that doesn't have a score on the screen, it's 12 all currently. Uh, so, a uh, really fierce, tight fought game, similar to the uh, the last one that we watched between Whitchurch and Starport. But uh, at the end, Starport pulled away, so we'll see if a similar thing happens with uh, Sir Gar seeming to be able to put the, put the accelerator on a little bit. Uh, and start to pull away, but right now Taunton is having a having a great game uh, with that number nine going down the wing and just being taken down by number ten in scrum half. Come on the comms. Against Okay, nice. Who's he, who's he playing for? Uh so it looks like Landover are playing Landaf Cathedral. Oh Landaf Cathedral. The boys just um, down the road. So we are now being heard live we are across heard. the world. So Wow. Uh very interesting. Nick's uh, Nick's brother about to play for Landaf Cathedral against Not my brother. Landaf, my uh, mate. Just well, uh, Nick's <laughs> mate will. Yeah. Um, so, good luck to him. And then we've got an interesting game here. M more on him when he plays on the first pitch. Look of course. Close. Cigar looking to... They've got no overlap the there, but uh, the number nine taking it up to the line to take in some defenders with the tackle. And now there's the opportunity to go wide, but still that pass board. has gone far forward. 12 or still. 12 or still, yeah. Cigars number 13. Tana Evans. Tana Evans. Coming on. Taunton may Think look uh, to utilise yeah. their possession. Number 10 for. In the. Number 10 for Sergar coming off. Sergar half. On a dominant scrum there from Sergar, but the, uh, the number nine for Taunton managed to pick it up and distribute. And there's a there's one. Oh, hand off there. from Taunton. Sunny Bill, no. Oh, not quite. That was a in touch. Good confidence taking it to the line. All right. So we are now live to the. We world are genuinely now. live. Okay. So uh, no more messing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just heard my echo like a hundred meters away. Okay, let's go. Cogs has got put in for let's the scrum. Go, let's go. Looking to run it from their own 22. Yeah, I think Sergar might take the opportunity to boot out here. Yeah, yep. there you go. Nice little chip. Bit and then the, chip and the, chase. the chase through by the number nine uh, with a good tackle to bring him down. But he's managed to get back up with uh, some good strength. Uh, but Taunton are on the back foot here, so they're going to have to fight to uh, get back moving forward into the Sergar 22. Cigar's defense very narrow. Yeah, so I think. Uh, oh, what an oh, interception! An interception. Go on. Number, number 19, 19 Max Cigar. Max, Max James. James. Wow. That was a great interception. Wow. He's galloping away. Wow. Big man with some pace. Score. 19 12, Cigar, if they convert. So that was a great try there from Max James for uh, Sergar. First points in a while. Yeah. It's really going to help. It uh, shows how tight this game's been yeah, with the difficulty. 19-12 to Sergar. No managed to pull yeah. away a little bit. So Taunton are going to work hard if they want to 
get this man back into their grip. Wow. Beautiful kick there. Um, and the, the hook has done okay. well to manage to make some ground with three players holding him up. But can he get it down? Oh, yes, tackle made. So I think uh, Taunton step, will be Taunton. to uh, drag in a couple of defenders so they can find a gap somewhere. Hard running oh, from the hooker. Oh, and hooker is having a storming game. With Looking a like a hand off. Hand off. For number nine. Wow. Playing it blind, Absolute Taunton. Absolutely rampage. Um, but the, uh, the number three. Flat. Up uh, on his feet. There you go. They look to go blind again. Taunton six. Could be in here. Ooh. Some big gaps there for Taunton if they can uh, Scrappy exploit game. it. Uh, the number nine carrying the ball. Oh, lovely right behind the, the back. Oh. Wow. And he gives it to the number three. Taunton right back in it. Yeah, back Taunton and forth. back in it with number three scoring just to the right of the posts. Oscar Willis. Fabulous um, out the back from Nicholas Willich. <laughs> And that is, is that is the game, is it? That's that's game. That's 19 all. all? That's our we first think. draw of the tournament, 19 all. We Great assume we don't we don't know for sure. Uh, Sir Gar had the opportunity to win that. 1917 possibly. Oh, well, Taunton, well, well. I think Taunton was the win. Mm. Looking at the body language of the cigar players. Oh, I think I think it would have been a draw and Sir Gar would just be disappointed that they weren't managed to capitalise on some of the uh, uh, attacking advantage they had. Hello? Hello? Cardiff and Bale College against Glantaster Cardiff Derby. Cardiff and Vale in the Navy with Glantaf in the stripes. Glantaf looking to kick. Hello? 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 One, two.
that is a conversion for Grand Taft, 7 0. For Grand Taft. Great start for them against uh, Kavak. So, Grand Taft will be very happy with that start. Uh, managing to uh, put seven points on the uh, on the trolley, no problem. Um, managing to get ahead early will be really beneficial for them. And the uh, the number twenty tries to hit and rip. Kavak looking to spread it wide. Onto the scrum cap. Lantaf looking to play. Yeah, a very rapid moving game so far with it being, I think, seven all. Seven all after. Glantaf looking on the wing. On Glantaf. That and he's number in. 20 with number 20 from Glantaf. Pulling away. Again, I, I believe he's a, a Cardiff um, Academy player for the under 18s, signed, uh, which is very interesting. Oh. Well, great try. I mean, Glantaf will be really happy with managing to stay ahead of Kavak. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Come on. Come on. 10,000 people. Okay. Glantaf looking to kick off here. Oh, drop ball from the uh, Kavak player there. It means that Glantaf have another opportunity to attack. And if Glantaf they can get it to this come in with pace. Again, there's a possibility that we could get a hat trick from him this early on in the match. Scrappy play. Oh, but number 15 has been stripped by the Kavak player. And then he goes for the turnover Kavak afterwards. Kavak may look to counter attack, but it is a penalty for Glantaf. And Glantaf have to take quick quickly. Number 11. Distribute. Trying to make the most of the... Glantaf uh, on the wing. Overlap. Number 9. Oh, oh what a great shot. tackle from number 6. And can he manage to make another, another, another tackle again? Looking to... Wow. The offloads are just flowing from Glantaf at the moment. But uh, they're looking quite scrappy under a lot of pressure. Kavak the Kavak defense. playing pressure, but he's in. He must be in, surely. That's surely a try. There's no way that they make that tackle. Try from Glantaf. Wow. Great try. Number Pace. nine, number nine Glantaf. So Glantaf are now two tries ahead of Kavak. To nil. So now three, no, there's one try for Kavak. Uh, so 21-14 it will be if a I conversion so, is I made. So It should be 21-7. 21-7, my bad. Wow. So for Glantaf, the school that are known for being the most dominant in Wales against Kavak, probably the biggest rugby institution outside of maybe Landovery. Oh yeah. Um, who were so lucky to play against playing that Thailand championship. Very interesting to see uh, the way they're 
kind of not being very dominant, to be honest. Pavak will be looking to score as soon as possible, really. Absolutely. You'd think that Kavak would be having far more opportunities to run with the ball, but I think Glantaf's defence. So Glandaf looking to kick, kick off again and maybe reclaim it as they've done the last couple of times. Oh, and a perfect kick oh, that goes wow. exactly 10 metres. And then a good contest in the air, won by Kavak. Um, running Kavak with the ball, number six. Straight up, the line. hand off, no, oh, but forcing this, the offload. Uh, the handling errors on. from the Kavak are really going to be the, the death of them, I think. Um, without that, they'd be a really consistent side, but it seems that they're just trying a little bit too hard to keep these offloads flowing. Mm. Oh, Kavak are oh, in it. Kavak have gone down the wing. Wow. And number 13. Oh, oh what a great tackle shot. From the fullback. And number oh, six makes oh. a couple of beautiful steps to finish in the corner. Fair play wow. for the But that number 13 was striking Stopping, away. Yeah. And the little fullback who could. Connor Milson really showing some pace for a big man. Absolutely. But, um, but stopped he was just by before the little the line. fullback. What an incredible show of fearlessness and bravery. To put yourself in harm's way against probably the biggest man on the field. Quality from from uh, Glantaf defence, but uh, outshone Inevitable. by yeah. yeah, outshone by Kavak's great attack. And I think that's half time. Twenty-one twelve. That seems to be the score. I think. I think so. Or maybe nineteen twelve. I'm not hundred percent sure about that last uh, Glantaf conversion. Oh, so nineteen twelve. Yeah. Did it? So 21 12. 21 12, which is uh, very impressive for Glantaf. And uh, what other matches have we got cut up to next? Do you want to have a look? Would be uh, exciting to see Christ Cole come back onto their home first team pitch and. So ne next game's at twelve, I assume. I believe so. Yeah. Dean Close, Kamoid. I'm looking for some. Pitch one. Clifton well. versus Kirkham. Oh, that is the absolute next game. Giant battle of uh, this yeah. entire tournament. I've got yeah. to say, two. probably two of the most iconic yeah. rugby schools in England, both going at it through the whole of the Daily Mail Cup. The two, the two sort of, I mean, it's a pool of death, really, isn't it? Absolutely, especially for Landaff Cathedral. You've got <laughs> yeah. a feel for that. you got a feel. Being absolutely brutalised Smothered. every game by some of the strongest schools in the country. Um, Clifton, Kirkham, wow. And Harbury as well, with their, their academy that feeds into the uh, Ross programme, uh, producing the likes of Lewis Rees Samet as one of the probably the, the best uh, generational talents of uh, the new Wales side. Yeah. Um, really sad to not have seen him so far in this Six Nations, but uh, definitely well produced by Hartbury. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any new talents on the uh, also Seven's pitch. Um, went to Thunder Cathedral before Six One. What, Zabit did? Yeah. Wow. So ah. there's yeah. Zabit's two home schools in one. Two schools, yeah. I wonder who he'll be rooting for back in his uh, house, relaxing and recovering, ready for his next Gloucester game. Glantaf kicks have been very accurate. Gla yeah, the Glantaf kicks have been probably Number one of 15. the strongest points. They've just been yeah. pitch pinpoint and allowing them to really have Compete a good attempt at winning it back, mm. which is, I think, something that none of the other teams have even attempted, apart from uh, that Taunton kick at the end of their game, where he barely even made it to the 10-metre line and the, uh, the hooker reclaimed it. But uh, definitely a very scrappy game with lots of penalties being given. That one there. Glantaf and, should uh, be looking to play it wide. Glantaf should be looking to play it wide here. Into yeah, the corner for the number nine. Space on the outside and number nine finishes in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
great attempt at a tap tackle size. there from the uh, from the forward, but number nine uh, not happening, and he finishes under the post, making it twenty six twelve. I do believe that the, the scoreboard is incorrect, saying it's Malvern College. It should be Glantaf. It should be Glantaf and Kavak with Kavak. Kavak are correct. Kavak having twelve and Glantaf having uh, twenty six. About to we be believe. made. We believe. 28. Yes. Uh, Glantaf. Glantaf really running away with it here. Absolutely, very impressive. I, w I was expecting Kavak to put in a much stronger performance. Seven. But uh, Glantaf are looking like the team to beat at the moment. I haven't seen anyone play with quite as much uh, connection and creativity as uh, this team. And I think that's the first long kick they've put in all game. Let's see if they've got a strong enough kick chase to um, defend Oh, Kavak's lovely attack. counter up from Glantaf. Um, oh, good pressure to bring him down before he gets up any head of speed. On the oh, outside, and the offload for to um, the big man on the wing, number seven. Is he going to carry it out oh, He could have given it, but instead he's decided to Selfish play. Into contact, uh, which I think is a poor Kavak decision. needs to spread it wide. Hit. Oh, they've oh, got any numbers, really. the ball away really. a little bit. They're losing their heads, but... Uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Um, so uh, now we've got the um, Glantaf running away again, having turned it over and broken the line. Finishing under the sticks as per the usual. Um, they're looking pretty unstoppable with the score, bumping up all the way to 33-12. So Kavak are on 12 points and uh, Glantaf are on 33, which is very impressive. Um, so clearly Glantaf's speciality seems to be there. Their sevens. Oh, he's missed it, so it's only 33-12. But still, very strong, dominant performance for Glantaf, and I think Kavak have got to have a lot of work to do if they want to win any other games uh, against other schools in uh, their pool. C there in pool C. Another pinpoint they kick. They've got Sergar. And competed in the air and taken. Wow. Oh, wow. Glantaf could wow. have I mean, that is The game is yeah. running away. It's now 38 12. That's very wow. impressive. Getting to 38 12 with another four minutes left of the game. It's going to be a, a rocky road for Kavak if they want to have any hope, really. Glantaf kickoff, so as we've been saying. Really showing. They're taking the conversion Roof. from the other side of the post so that they don't break any windows. <laughs> Clever decision there. Yeah, so that makes it 40 12 to Glantaf with uh, the biggest whitewash so Kavak. far, really. That is a, an absolute whitewash. Very unexpected. Oh, and that's full time. Is Having you don't it's, I think we still have a few minutes left. So there's still four minutes left on the Something like um, that. The screen has temporarily turned <laughs> off, which is not ideal. But we'll keep you updated on how the match progresses. Oh, yeah. Um, number 15 sends another pinpoint kick up. And Good take, uh, The Kavak, Kavak uh, player Good takes take a wonderful the, uh, catch while in the air. But turnover for Glantaf. Glantaf almost made the turnover again. And now there's a massive overlap for Kavak. Oh, Selfish play as usual. Uh, Head Kavak, down, rugby, Kavak really. Cannot, um, <laughs> use the space that they're being given. Go on, son. So they put it out on the wing, and now can he use it? Number 13, um, Connor, Connor Milson, Connor uh, Milson uses his long legs to tear away from the defence and finally puts more <laughs> points on the board. So that's 40 17. Connor, Connor Milson. 40 17. So uh, next up after this, it should be as soon as this match uh, comes to its uh, finish. Biggest game um, yet, really. Probably 
biggest game we've had all on the day. first pitch. On the first really pitch. Really interesting. Least. On the first pitch, we should have loads of supporters coming to watch this. It's an absolute battle of the titans between Kirkham Grammar and Clifton College. Clifton having probably uh, one of the biggest uh, schools in this competition, um, with almost all of their players having some connection to the Bristol Bears Academy. Um, quite a few of their players, such as Tom Bowen and Aidan Boshoff in the 15s, um, are in the uh, Wales under-18 squad. Um, Too easy for Glantar. Too easy. Gone straight through the Kavak defence and scored again to make it 45-17. Ripping, ripping their hearts out now. 45-17 is an absolute whitewash for any game. But against such a large powerful school like Havak. Very unexpected. Havak looking understandably demoralised, really. Absolutely. They were, they were not expecting such a, such a powerful game. Glantaf um, looking a, good. A missed, uh, missed conversion there, so it's 45 Gl Glantaf 17. looking good, Kavak looking poor, to be honest. Absolutely. With, with, with the firepower that Kavak has in their squad, um, you would not be expecting such silly mistakes and inexperience uh, as well, I'd say. Yeah, inexperience probably plays a, a factor, as well as just probably lack of cohesion. With uh, not, it, obviously, it's the same for all schools, but some have uh, a much better opportunity to play uh, sevens together. Yeah. Whereas Kavak, this seems probably like it might have been their first sevens first. training they've ever had. <laughs> the way they're playing. Oh, oh and another drop ball. That's just that's basic errors that no first team player should be making. Just drop yeah, just under passes. the pressure. Connor Milson, the big boy, has got the ball. Looking, looking like he's wanting, <laughs> wow, wanting to do something. That's a good carry, and he ships it out onto the wing. So uh, forward pass forward there, pass. and that's it. Game and over. That's game over. Forty-five, seventeen, Glantaf. It's hard, really, to gauge how good each team is yeah, when it's when it's so one-sided as that. You can't yeah. really tell if Glantaf put in an incredible performance or if it was just a weak, weak Kavak defense. But nonetheless, some of the offloading skills and the lines that are being run by uh, the Glantaf boys is absolutely commendable. So next up, as we keep saying and we keep hyping it up, it's Kirkham Grammar versus Clifton College. Um, Clifton is yeah, yeah blue and white, and then Kirkham playing in the blue with white sleeves. I don't believe we have a. Do you have a Clifton? I believe we have a Clifton one. Sorry. You don't. No. Oh, it's fine. You need. You, you know what Clifton is. You, you, you know. Uh, I think Os I think Oscar Green's playing. Who's white and blue college. is Clifton. Clifton. Clifton College. Oh. Right, so we shall see how this goes, because I know there's very strong, very consistent boys, such as um, number 13, Ollie Russell, real powerhouse in the 15s game, playing second row. Uh, we'll be interested to see how it translates to uh, the sevens game. And then I think number 10, Oscar Green, um, for a lad of his size, he's really got some pace and some technical capabilities behind him, watching him play for the uh, the Bristol Bears Academy. It's really, really good to watch. And then... In the Kirkham grammar side, uh, not really sure of any of the players. Um, got I mean, the, the white and the white and blue of Clifton, so the, the iconic. White and blue of Clifton is similarly iconic to the Millfield. Um, do you know any of these? No. no. Well, um, either, either team Kirk really. Kirkham needs no introduction, really. If you know anything about schoolboy rugby, oh, they're always in mentions. And number nine for Clifton has taken it and made up much ground already. But uh, Clifton looking under a lot of pressure from this uh, Kirkham defence. Not 10. Oh, and not 10 from uh, Kirkham. So Clifton gain a couple of metres. Oscar Green with ball in hand, I think. Oh, and now the ball's been given to uh, Oscar Green. Um, shipped oh, across. Shot oh, but a Kirkham. great hit shot from, from the, uh, the Kirkham player. And uh, Clifton, Clifton looking to I can't spread tell it. if they're under pressure, if they're just choosing to play 
a proper seven style of rugby yeah. with Waiting absolutely to attack. no structure. Waiting um, to attack there. Until you get that moment open and Ollie Russell coming through. Forward, oh, marginally the forward there, oh, yeah. Slightly that forward. Is a forward pass. Unlucky there. Really good carry though, looking for that space. Great effort. Nah. So, uh, scrum down. Both, to, both, uh, both front rows looking similarly sized. Maybe Kirk have just edging it. Yeah, I think so. I think um, uh, Clifton have definitely focused more on having a, a quality back line with uh, some really skillful players rather than having that size. Knock on from Kirk oh, under the on. pressure. Clifton scrum. That's unlucky. Yeah, that is very unlucky, but it's those small mistakes that really add up throughout a game. <laughs> we'll see if Clifton can capitalise now. Good clean scrum there clean and a great pick there. up. The ball goes straight out, and uh, I think uh, Clifton will look to, uh, to wrap on kind the of bring in a couple of the uh, Kirk and defence into a ruck so that they have some. Wow, Ooh, hands from Clifton. Really big hit from the Kirk oh. player on number 11 for Clifton. Oh. And then Oscar Green. Cl Clifton are forcing the offloads, steps. but they're sticking. The offloads from Clifton yeah. are sticking. I think Clifton is one of the first teams we've seen that can throw any offload. And, and they are landing, and it looks like Clifton are going to be in here. And number seven for Clifton scores after two minutes of game. Um, some very good handling there from so Clifton. Five nil up after two minutes to Clifton. Some very good handling there. Yes. So five nil. No conversion there from Clifton. should be looking to retrieve the ball, tap it back in the air. Really good contest in the air. Oh, now the chase from number seven. Oh. Playing, the yeah. Penalty playing against the Clifton. There. So Kirkham are going to take this quickly Kirkham and try will and want to. spread it out onto the wing to really use up the space that they've got. Oh, and then the switch inside. Oh. Oh, and a great line there. Almost finding a gap, but covered by a great tackle from the uh, number nine Kirk for Clifton. And then Kirkham putting a strong Boot through, do they have the pace? And then number seven with the wheel. He looks like Kirkham he might get there might first. get there. Oh, no, what an no. incredible kick. If we were playing 15, I think that would be a 50-22. I'm not sure how the rules apply in sevens. But uh, nonetheless, an incredible kick. Let's put it on the five meter line. Clifton are under a lot of pressure here. Um, Will Clifton look to play or kick? We, we will see. I think it's. I think Clifton. You've got to kick it. Got to be ship it to that that fly half position and then just hoof it upfield. You cannot risk um, having a turnover at this uh, point in the game. But Clifton, look. Oh, there yeah, there you go. go. He just needed that that one gather step. He yeah, he and, can't. Uh, Oscar Green now with the chase almost makes it. But that number. Kirkham have got numbers left. Straight just and give. Ship it left yeah, and just. They Th th in the in. corner, surely. Yeah, there you go. Kirkham in the corner. Nice little goosey from number 13. Oh! Oh, oh he's oh. knocked it on! What a poor decision to throw that. Um, too, um, that too, too confident. Yeah, too he confident there from Kirkham. There. I couldn't see the, uh, the number nine making that tackle on the, the large number 13. Wow. wow. That was really strong. Yeah, they'll be kicking themselves for that. Absolutely. That was probably Kirkham. their first real attack in Real, yeah. Um, against... Uh, I mean, an it wasn't an, an opportunity. Yeah, and he's just thrown it away because he's. He, I think he. I think he's lacking confidence. He's like, <laughs> too much confidence. And he kind of can back himself. <laughs> uh, Kirkham with another opportunity here, though. So let's see what they can do. So I, I can imagine there's got to be a hard line off the uh, the fly half position now. Well, yeah, simple loop. Or oh, he stepping back inside number thirteen. Well, Kirkham, that is... Kirkham um, are in, under, the, under oh, the sticks. Great great carry from Sam Lutas there. That's exactly what Kirkham will have needed, really. Yeah. Absolutely what left. they needed, really. Just, oh, and then they stopped the kick as well. Kirkham are ahead, 7-5.
<laughs> wow, great kick from Kirkham. I think... Oh, I don't think that's gone to myself, but uh, the referee doesn't call it. And Kirkham's managed to regather it. Oh, not really. Ollie Russell has been penalised there uh, for not releasing after the knees were tucked to the ground, so they've given away another 10 metres of uh, territory. Um, Looking to bounce it yeah, back to the blind side, straightening up oh, from Alex another, Smith. Another strong carry there, managing to make another 10, 15 metres on the uh, Clifton defence. And I think if they shift Kirk wide Kirk now, Kirkham applying, Kirkham applying pressure on the second half of this first half. Absolutely. Looking, Kirkham have taken looking on the. Uh, oh, and there, a good there turnover go. there. Defibrillating. Oh, and taken quickly by. Uh, diffusing the pressure there. The Clifton College number seven didn't take it in quite the right position and has been called back by the referee. Just over 10 seconds left. I think this will be the last play of the half. Let's see if. I Clifton think Clifton have an opportunity here. They could uh, could make some ground if they play this correctly. You know, using. Oh, that was a poor pass gone to ground, but. Oh, a great carry and an even better Kirkham tackle. will be looking to tackle into touch. Ah, oh, knock on. Penalty off his feet. Oh, penalty, okay. Penalty can't can't Kirkham. end on a pen, Last can play. you? Not taken from the mark there, Kirkham. Yeah, back you go. That's got, this has got to be last play of the half. This, this will be, yeah. Surely. Kick it to touch and get red. Scoring here would definitely help the confidence of Kirkham yeah, going into the second it half. It boosts them up knowing that they had that last lap of the game. And I think it would really just... Oh, knock lead. on, though. But Playing advantage, yeah, advantage. for Clifton. The 14. Um, and then Clifton, if they can use this link-up play and their great offloads that they were showing in the first half of the first half, I think they will be able to uh, put this in. Oh, the number seven goes through the gap. Oh, and selfishly doesn't give them Yes, back. should have. Balls out. out. Knock on, knock on. Pass. Okay, that must be the end of the half there. There we go. Yeah. Back and forth. First half rugby. Over. Um, both teams. Both teams with scoring opportunities at the end of the half. Neither converting possession into points. Good rugby. Absolutely good rugby. Really to watch. Just especially with Kirkham's confidence to, even though it was the last play of the game, they really wanted that last try and yeah. went for it rather than. Uh, kicking it out and giving that extra time for respite. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like time with the Kirkham game, and then after that, what are we looking at next, Nick? Um, Collegiate no, uh, Pitch one. 12, uh, 20. Hartbury versus Landaff Cathedral. Cathedral. With uh, one of Landaff's star players, Will. <laughs> Will Watkins. <laughs> Will Watkins is playing for Landaff Cathedral. School. And Tom Phillips as well. Tom Phillips. Tom Shout Phillips. out to them both. They're really going to be vital in Landaff's performance today. Charlie, Charlie Williams as well for Landaff Cathedral. Any, if they want to stand any chance against a strong Hartbury side, they've probably got one of the best setups in UK school. If not rugby. the best, really. Yeah, realistically, because they're so focused on their rugby with their tight, deep connections with... Um, Gloucester. Gloucester. It's really the team the team to beat. Although, in my opinion, I think Glantaff are looking... Glantaff are looking... So Ex-winners of last year as well. Exactly. So they, they've, Glan they've been here before. It seems that Glantaff are a seven specialist, almost. They've um, been here before, they know. Yes. They yeah, know they know how, how, they to, know go how to win one. They know how to win, for sure. Um, so, uh, yeah, that Landaff Cathedral game is looking uh, quality. And after that, the last game of the three stages on our pitch. Um, uh, Coleg E. Cumoid versus Collegiate School, and before that, it's Christ College versus Dean Close. Let's get some Christ College supporters around there, really Definitely. hype up the game a little bit, after Dean Close's dominant performance over um, Millfield, I think you'd be worried. I think um, winning this game would be vital for both, just positioning-wise, for the knockouts. Oh yeah, 100%. I think whoever wins this is really going to have a strong chance of... Cheers. A uh, really strong chance of winning their group and then having the easier route to the uh, the final. Don't get on the mic. <laughs> so, uh, 
Nick House is just uh, refilling his fat stomach with uh, more bacon butties. Can't get enough. That's why he's uh, six foot seven, everybody. Um, so a really high kick for Oscar Green and collected well by the number 11 for Kirkham. Kirkham hard line. Oh, a great hard line, but a decent tackle from Ollie Russell there. Kirkham and then uh, Kirkham. Look to straighten up here, but they're uh, I think, back. I think uh, Kirkham's Spotting decision here. Space. Ooh, the number oh, great for hand up from Kirkham. And He's going all the way. Oh, 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 oh what what an offload, offload to number seven. Hands from wow. Kirkham. That is wow, incredible. out of nowhere. Out Oscar of nowhere. Had an, uh, had an incredible uh, chance to make the tackle and really was trying to take wow, it. Wow, who scored that? That arm came out at number seven for Kirkham. The, the, uh, the Harry line, Ray. Harry Ray. Harry Ray. The support line that he ran, the communication, oh, it was perfect. That wow, out, that's Gareth Edwards, Gareth Edwards-esque, that. Wow, absolutely. Out of nowhere, the hard line. Um, so Kirkham have just scored, so it's now 12 And that's why they're known. Absolutely. They are a dominant force in schools rugby because of how consistent they are when they play. Ollie Russell on the ball. And I think uh, Clifton are looking to ship it out here with the overlap um, after they have that one player drop back to play a sweeper sort of role. Um, and they now have a massive overlap. Clifton on the should right be hand looking side. to play it on the right hand side. Ship this quickly. Uh, I think they have an opportunity here. Um, but That's think, a big yeah, boy. Yeah, Kirkham have done really well to cover the space there, and they should be playing. Um, that was an interesting decision going by himself, the number nine. Um, oh, but he's made a lot of ground yeah. there. You, you can't, uh, you can't fault his ability to uh, find the spaces. Oh, but that was a poor, poor pass. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's live. Yeah, mm. I can hear it. So, uh, knock on Kirkham, Clifton Ball. Hi, can, I can I jump on Carlton Cooper next game? I want to do it. Am I made to play? Well, I'll be on it. Oh, you go on. Go on. Oh, no, Nick, you go. Yeah. Uh, he can hop on. Yeah. Wait, no, tell us both. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then if he'd given it, I think the uh, 11 would have been free down there. Clifton looking great with the grubber and, and the hands. So number 11 manages to score for Clifton. Um, That's, yeah, we don't have the Clifton team number sheet, really. Clifton with uh, great football skills and pick up uh, to score, making it... 12-all. Um, uh, tw no, 12. Is it 14-10? Uh, yeah, and if they convert, it'll be 14-12. Uh, 14-10. Yeah, 14 10. So Clifton just under. To Kirkham, 10 to Clifton. Just under four minutes left um, for Clifton to get a try, at least. Yeah, I think Clifton need one try to get ahead, and if they can convert it, that'll put them a safe distance ahead. But with Kirkham's uh, attacking potential at the moment, I think they might need even more than that. Oh, and uh, the number eight for Kirkham going down the wing and a great fend what off a against hand Oscar off. Green. Oh, oh great finish! Great the finish as well. Good attempt. Could to be in touch. Oscar Green, but I think the number Could eight. Could be. It's a try. Yeah, try given. So that that puts uh, Kirkham ahead by. <laughs> it's nine. Nineteen twelve. Kirkham to Clifton. And it could be, uh, it, it could be, be 21. 21. Everyone except Cleve got enough. Oh, Dean, everyone except Dean Close. That's Finn Shep stepping off and Johan Jenkins taking over for him. The boy from Reynoldson. Swansea boy. Swansea boy's on you.
Um, I, I know we've got lots of old boys watching today. Jack Griffiths and Ewan Coyle messaging earlier about the live stream. I'd like to sh say hello to them. So um, Kirkham really applying the pressure to Clifton. Clifton will have to score soon if they have if they want any chance of winning. Twenty-one <laughs> twelve, Kirkham. Ah, oh, sloppy from Clifton there. Clifton really need to score now. They effectively they need two tries really, so they need to score now. Get their own kickoff back off the high ball and score again. Clifton coming through. That should. Oh no, it's not. Harry Ray. Looking like a, a win for Kirkham. Great win against the mammoths that are Clifton College. Oh, beautiful dummy there. He's going through. Could go all the way oh, in the going? last play of the game. Oh, beautiful offload, and the number nine is gone. Oh, and oh not shot quite, though. though. Shot from Kirkham. It's <laughs> fun, isn't it? That is a great win for Kirkham. Full time. 21-12. Clifton were looking strong at the start with, you know, offloads going to hand. But Kirkham didn't really take their foot off the pedal, really. Kept applying pressure and uh, got the dub, so yeah. We can hear a squeeze as the next set prepared to come on. Who have we got next? We have got Llandaff Cathedral versus Hartbury. I mean, Llandaff Cathedral just thrown into the pool of death, really. <laughs> No mercy for Thlandaff. And here we have... Screw me out from Cardiff after all, <laughs> so it serves them right. <laughs> Harbury are all looking massive. Thlandaff Cathedral, Roald Dahl's old school. Good old And there we are, Will Watkins shaking the hand, taking the captain, C. Is Will Watkins a friend of yours, Ned? Yeah, I just went to the gym with him, oh, really? like two nights ago. What gym was that? David Lloyd in Cardiff. So yeah. <laughs> um, Hartbury, the clear favourites. It'd almost be historic if Cathedral I came see of anything. With a history book right there, ready to write their <laughs> names in it if they win. They're going to inscribe their names onto a stone if Thandaff win today. You've heard it from Nick, guys. I think we're all, even though they're from Cardiff, I think we do want them to win. Yeah, anyone is Cardiff. The Welsh teams. Yeah, you want the Welsh teams. All the English schools coming in here and winning, do we? Yeah. You know, Colic Siogar were our winners last year. Glantaf were. Oh, Glantaf. I, I apologise. Let's see what Cathedral can do with Hartbury. Little cross field from Cathedral working, and Cathedral are in space. Oh, he's, he's Can he right go right. all the way? He's gone. He's Can he go all the way? Another kick. He gives it a chip. Number six for Cathedral. No, go eight. on. Oh, that would have been you know, spectacular. He's trying to break through the that would have been spectacular wall. for Thlandaf Cathedral. Wow. Wow. Cathedral play with no punches held back, really playing with nothing to lose. For those of you wondering, that is Finn <laughs> Shep, our resident NPC, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> He's currently staring out into space, thinking about what to say next. Heartbreak. 
looking to run from their own 22, I assume. Hopefully a clean put in. Oh, the Harvey scrum just really going to annihilate um, Cathedral, really. Harbury's prop is humongous. Yeah, Harbury have a much bigger pack. We can see a Thandaf pack's just not there in comparison. To Nowhere Harbury, near, it? really. And, and, you, you can and they're playing it blind. Dominated in those scrums. And Harbury oh. going to hand, winning two in a ruck there. Pretty unnecessary, but trying to secure the ball. Hartbury are looking narrow. They've got some depth, but... Uh, oh, and a knock-on from Hartbury. Cathedral look to steal. Ball's out. Good counter-ruck from Cathedral. Number three Cathedral looking to play. Handoff, oh, my days. Oh. Can't catch it. oh, my days. He's got hands for feet. <laughs> Sunnyville nearly pulled it off there. That would have been Keep the hands on being amazing. <sighs> Good tackle from Cathedral there. <laughs> and the ball's out. The ball is open to play. <laughs> playing. Oh. Penalty for Cathedral playing the ball on the floor from Hartbury. Come on, Cathedral. And 10 meters there. Cathedral applying some pressure. It's only been three minutes, and only three minutes. It feels like it's been feels like eternity. A tight game, close margins. Yes, Cathedral have got numbers. My friend, Tim three v two. Making great comments. To me. Oh, it's asking about an update. Still nil nil. Not much has happened, but we're playing down in Hartbury's half. Thandaf are really making these moves, putting pressure on them. Hartbury scrum. I mean, we're in the same position as we were <laughs> yeah, they, two minutes ago. The same position, taking that scrum again. Let's hope it goes in will the better they, with Thandaf, Will they go blind again? I don't think they're winning these scrums. If you look at the size difference. Hartbury looking to oh, I, dummy, I, and he's got a pace. Hartbury 15 is it. fast. Oh. Knock on, though. Oh, oh and he's, he's running. Can he make it? Unfortunately not. Cathedral scrum. Hartbury promising, but not capitalizing. <laughs> Let's see what Cathedral will offer here. Sandaf really don't want these scrums. It's not something that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just like. shoved <laughs> it's not meters back. But there is a, there is a restriction. Be their strong point, but we see they've got the pace. They've, you know, they're doing well. Just haven't got that pack. Um, see if Hartbury can yeah, Hartbury scrum just name. demolishing, really. Yeah, yeah Cathedral's short. Of course, they are short of all their Gloucester players, but shouldn't be an excuse, really. Uh, I am aware that Cathedral are depleted too, as we are in half term. Many, many boys away with the families, or but, I mean, a school like Hartbury shouldn't be reliant on their on their players that are in region. Exactly. They should have a good enough team with regardless. Depth, you need honest. depth, yeah. They've got the depth there, but I don't think we're seeing that depth here today. At least not yet, anyway. But we're only five minutes in, so I remain hopeful. Scrum Harbury, I mean, this is just devastating for Cathedral yeah. in the scrubs. <laughs> it's not really a fun watch. I mean, Hartbury are looking like 100 kgs each. Cathedral scrum is 100 kg combined. Hartbury looking to play. Ooh, he's good on his feet. He gives it. He just Hartbury oh, could he be in here. In. Yeah, too easy. Run. Oh, and he's back in. Good shot, though. Oh, oh, that's a forward, once again, that's a forward pass. This is the catch. 
Cathedral valiant efforts in defence. I think it's going to be a line out by there. Not allowing Hartbury to get over the line. We've got the Brecon boys coming around. Any comments from any of you boys before you go on? We've got Reese Conker here. They'd like to say a few words. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cathedral jackling the ball, winning it. <laughs> Is a turnover. Can Cathedral do anything with 20 seconds left? Breaking the line, and he's away. Oh, and he's he's not going to be caught. I've been distracted. He's, he's not going to be caught. That. He's not going to be caught, and that is that is a try under the posts. <laughs> it's a brilliant score from Thandaf. So that's the first try of the game. Callum Rossa for Hartbury, trying to chase back, but not fast enough. Wow. 5-0 to Flandaff and was it under the sticks? 7-0. Seven 7-0 nil. Seven nil for Flandaff. That's impressive. We have some team talks now going on with Thandaff and Hartbury. But Nick, how do you feel that first half went? I think, wow, uh, Cathedral could not, you know, cannot complain with anything. I mean, yeah, good, good words. Again, too, Nick. <laughs> you know, it's the small, the small Cardiff school with depleted team against Tell you what, it's uh, half time. I think uh, we'll, we'll give you a joke now from Garan Jenkins. Oh, what was it earlier? T say the one from earlier. <laughs> He's, we've got camera shy. Microphone shy. Um, I mean, realistically, Harbury could, should put their pedal to the metal and get some points. But, you know, if sevens, anything's possible, Thandaf. 7-0 against Harbury College. Valiant. Mr. Barrington there. Giving the boys, you know, what they need, giving them the mental I mean, edge. I'm really Harbury will be get in there now, telling themselves that they should be winning this. And the point is, they should. Uh, you know, Clandaf are the underdogs, but they're doing very well. And to be honest, I'd like to see them go that extra mile today. Tom Phillips, number 12, I believe, has come out, come on. Um. He's had he's played against Landovery for crochets, so he's got a bit of experience in big, big moments. And yeah. we will see Tom Phillips here trying to get the chase. Let's see if Roger the boys can win the ball. In the tent. Right, I've taken over Nick now. So that's Nick and Finchep signing off. And <laughs> Some better commentators on now. <laughs> and Rory Mears and Johan Jenkins take it over. But we all can't wait for the big game that's coming up. What's the game? Christ Dean, Dean Close, Close versus, versus Christ, Christ Cole. Cole. Yes. Undefeated, both. Both undefeated in their in their pools, to be honest. Um, I think that's going to be their, mo both their most close game in that pool. On this really lush pitch of Christ Cole first. But oh, that 21. Oh, you just can't. Ah, again. There seems to be a lot of ball fumbles here today. Wow. <laughs> oh, good tackle there. Wow. Is red Hartbury? Hartbury is red. Right? Hartbury is red. Oh, for the chase now, for the chase. <laughs> oh. Kind of scored. Um, yeah, 21 from the local good points. Oh, it was Mr. Patterson just checking in on us. Head of the sports here in Christ College. Oh, oh break. Oh, and Hartbury are making a one beautiful on one. break. Can you? Oh, good tackle. Really oh, what a offload. Oh, yes. Is oh, he gone? Pace. I think 
Look Come on, that number nine, that. he's no. just not, he doesn't want it almost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's getting closer now. We see it under the six again. I'm assuming five, seven. Make a kick. It's a five, seven, the eighth minute. It is a lovely day, isn't it? It's a bit cold out here, I'd say. A bit cold for my liking, but the sun is shining. The sun is shining, yeah, that's rare. Perfect conditions rare for sevens, I think. Mm. You know, we're out here in the, in the be most beautiful country in the world. Yep, Wales. Uh, not England. In the heart. <laughs> yeah, we are in the heart of Wales, actually. Yeah. Oh, Brecon. advantage. He won't let go of his foot there, eh? Right, they're going up now. They want to spread this out all slow. Oh, that is Finch up oh. once again. Found the word to. Okay, uh, this is getting a bit messy now. Oh, what a brilliant break! Oh, oh look at that! Oh, wow! Gone. Straight oh, through, he's, he's through the middle, the through the middle. Oh. You know, Sandaf really have put the pressure on Hartbury. You know, try. a very good rugby school. Yeah. Sandaf, the underdogs, to be honest, I think, I think they're going to be walking away with the win. Might be premature of me to say that, but I hope so for Sandaf's sake. Yeah. You, know. you have to be fit for sevens, don't you? Fit very to be fit. a bit. Yeah, I have to be quick, so that's I why, mean, I, that's why I'm not know, cut out for it. I mean, Sandaf have got a few boys that might verge on that. Mm, yeah. Looking at their number three. Right, kick off. He's caught it. Game resumes. Oh. oh it's just. Hartbury just. The standards just aren't there from them today. All right, try and keep it in. Try and keep it in. Oh, oh poor pass. Low, that's a poor pass. And it's out. Right on the halfway line. Si number six admits to it being his fault. Yes, Nick. As it is. <laughs> How do lineouts work here, I wonder? Don't call me a bean, Finn. You're more of a bean than I am. We have a whining Finn Chef in the corner who's desperate to come back to commentary. Don't worry, guys, we'll save you and keep him off. <laughs> 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 yeah. Everyone's hearing my voice, not his. We might try and get rid of Rory Mears. Oh! Oh! Look at him go! Look at him go! The number 10 lads and out! And he runs and he's under, under the, the post. post once again. Look at the dive. Number 10 oh, from wow. Sandaf. We don't, wow. we don't know if we have his name or not here, boys. No, we don't, we don't, we don't. Um, we don't have his name, we don't have his name. But that number 10 from Sandaf, brilliant. That is beautiful hands. Any scouts out there watching, uh, pick him up. Beautiful. Brilliant. <laughs> what a game. Sorry, that's my fault. There's no bins about the place. That's the problem. No, I just accidentally dropped it. I think. I'm no, I'm no Dylan Skim on the mic, but I'll try my best. Mm. I hear he's injured. Dylan, Dylan Skim, captain of Christ College. He is not injured that I'm aware of. Um, Nick, can you find yeah, out? Yeah, he played every game, but I, I just saw him um, on the floor. No, um, he's probably. He, I believe he's doing a stretch. Co also. Coach um, Cessna's seems a bit of his feeling. Well, I, I really hope not. Right. Good catch. Want to ruck over? Oh, got to be careful. Got to secure these rucks. Look at that seven go. Seven from oh, He's hello. Off. He's off. Oh, he oh, bounces and sends that number oh. 13. Hard luck. They've been playing well, haven't they? It's a good score. Right. It's a good line out there. There are good line out. Yeah, pass it out. Offloads it to the nine, to 13. Oh, yes. 14 Brought runs back okay. in. Oh, got to keep hitting the line. Can't just slow down. To the wings, but 
Oh, and number seven. Oh, number chips seven's it off. He just just pushed him. him. I just don't think you could do that. But what? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, oh, Hartbury know thing. that they're supposed to be winning this, and they're getting right. angry now. Look, they're off. The number eight. Number eight he's, he's is going boy. steaming his way Power through. Look at him. He's like a tank. <laughs> the engine on that. Oh. And the oh, power. And he's scored. Doesn't it? Is oh. it not? It's not going to be enough though. Well, oh, thirteenth minute. It's nearly over. Randaff, keen, no, Heartbreak, keen to get set again. Oh, is that going in? Don't think that was through. Oh, it was missed. A lot of them are missed, aren't they? Yes. Um, drop kicks, isn't it? They don't really have that energy to be taking time. Yes, it will. I oh. No, it's Christ, Christ College. Christ College, College next. Christ Vincent College being incorrect versus with his Dean Close. What a match that will be. Heart's pumping already. Right. Oh, four team running up. Oh, he just kicks just it kicked out. It they out. know. They know the Hartbury. Right. So the game back, is over. So that's brilliant, ladies Hartbury and gentlemen. Hartbury versus Flandaff. 12-21. Well played, boys. We're going to be seeing the green and gold come onto the home pitch oh. now. The home team Christ College is about to go on the pitch anytime soon. This is one. Th this is one of the biggest games. You're it right. Is Nick. both teams undefeated in their pool? Yeah, Dean Close beat Millfield, and so did Christ Cole in the 15s. Receives. So this will be a good conflict here. The boys in their huddle now. Where are the Christ Cole boys? Can't see them anywhere. Text, text messages to his dad saying Christ Cole can't um, go to Mel. Just sending out a message to the old boys, making sure that they know that. Yeah, so they can. Rich, come on. Yeah, so they can watch their old team. Is it? No, that's my one. This is it. Dylan Skirm right. leads them on. There's the captain. captain. There's the colonel. Dylan Skirm, local boy. <laughs> Any words from you, Mr. Patterson, for representing Brecon? Looking for a good game here. Uh, Dean Close will, uh, will be excellent, well drilled, but I think. Uh, so Hello, Christ College, and uh, we're hoping uh, for a great match. And we're hoping for a win for to Brecon. Take top it home for us, boys. Top actually, both of you are top of the group at the moment. Oh, no, I've just been told that um, they actually lost to come out. I've huh? uh, Dean's Close actually lost um, their last game, right, so tensions Brecon building are up now. top of their group. <laughs> Start playing Finna Donovan talking to me here. Bench warming. <laughs> right. They're having a little talk together. I would, I would start a bench warmer, Finno Donovan. <laughs> Finno Donovan, do you have any words? Um, I believe we can. this tournament is up for grabs, and I think that we can win this. Of course, we're However, surrounded by the Brecon boys now. Uh, we've been lacking today. And I think to we can on. hit the top tier. You can see that they're keen. Got it's got Dylan Skirm goes to shake the hands of so Dean Close captain. The next year, this, this tournament should, should be quite easy for us, I think. Win it for us, Finn. That's Thank right. you. Should we have a go at reading out some of the numbers on the pitch then? So yes. Um, you see number six there. That, oh, have we got a team sheet for Brecon? I don't think we have, actually. Have we got one? It's somewhere in the pile. It's a big pile, though. Can you? Have we got Finna Donovan who's going to give us our starting numbers? Um, there we are. Look at that. <laughs> oh, enthusiastic Pack start from the boys. Lads. About to start. Starting on the pitch right now, we have... Owen McIntyre, Owen Conker, Harry Holden. Chicken, as otherwise known. Dan Buffery, Dylan Skirm, Gethin O'Callaghan, and Jack Perrins. What a good... Dylan Skirm, captain. The colonel. Of course, we've got Owen Conker, a Blues under-18s player. And on the bench, we've got Wallace uh, Hayward. James Hayward, Lloyd number 13. James uh, Lloyd Powell there, Reese Pearson, Finn O'Donovan, Reese Conker, the year 11. And Tom Voss Davis. Oh, Gethin's just magic with the ball. Look at that dummy with him. He's just got brilliant control. Oh, slow start. See, Holden could have been, Harry Holden could have been through there. Hmm. Well, there's an injury, injury already. Oh dear. We've got a boy down, number 10 from Dean's Close. I don't know if we've got a. Apologies, we haven't got the paper on us, I don't think. Slow start to the game. He's down. He's getting back up, but I think no, he's coming off. 
Hmm. Right, he's off. Oh, we've got a team sheet for Dean's Close. Have we? So number ten, that is Toby Pendle coming off. I think Miss I think Miss wants to say a few words. Right, here's a scrum, three man scrum. Let's see how it plays out. The first scrum of the match. The scrum, so there we are, Harry Holden, you and McIntyre and Owen Conker. With Dan That's a hell of a pack, isn't it? Those are some strong boys. Yeah, two Cardiff Blues. Oh. Uh, actually, only Owen Conker is in Cardiff Blues at the moment. Oh, is he? Yeah. No. Thanks for correcting me there. I don't know why oh. they wouldn't have those boys in it. I personally yes, go would on. select go all on of Dale. these boys There's to be picked the up for a region oh. if uh, anyone's Good out there. tackle on the captain. <laughs> right, there goes Dan, Dan Buffery to, to Harry Holden. Load. Good off. Oh. Just not quite there, is oh, it? He, he oh, did, he did catch it. Well, Dan's a... Oh. Good pass. Oh, gives it wide to now Jack Perrin, head of parents. Orton House. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, knock on. Forward pass. Right, second scrum of the match. I'm thinking the boys just aren't really using as much of the, much of, as much of the pitch as they can. Really? Miss, any comments from you? The physio coach does not have any comment. Too, Too early, early to say. Well, yeah, no, actually, it's not on there. It's on YouTube, yeah. Dean Close have just scored. Have they? Um, we've undermined that a little bit, but yeah. First two minutes. I mean, not to be biased, but unfortunately they have. Oh, dear. They'll be back. <laughs> just, like, just like the Terminator, they'll be back. Thank you for that, Rory. Who, do we know who, who scored that there? Uh, the number 12, so that is Jack Hobson. Jack Hobson. I, I I'm hope hoping so. so. I hope so. We might have to take a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Get a verbal uh, abuse from the, from the sub. Huh? Rory, give it to him. Give it to him. No, I'm not giving it to him. This is mine. Oh, look at Chicken's oh. run there. Chicken. Whoa, he's Harry charging. Holden is gone. Hello. Oh, Jack look Perrin. at that offload. Mm. Perrin. My head of house. Jack Perrin. Gets it under the post. Running all over the world. Brilliant, way. Jack. Oh. He's proud. But can he convert it, though? Of course he can. It's Jack Perrin. Under the post, and he makes it. Good job. He's being he's been subbed off though now for someone else. Joining me on commentary now is Garan Jenkins. So, mate. Some of you may recognise him from some tic some TikTok videos, such as Match Day Vlogs. Those are going well. How many views are they on? Quite a few, actually. Oh, who's that? Lloyd Powell gives it. Oh, and Geth gives it again. Dylan, come on. Oh, and Ewan Mack. Oh, he's got through. I just can't see past these hordes of people, but he scores. Who's that? Ewan Mack, who's that scored? Oh. Brilliant. Brilliant. Muck, you know, he's a brilliant player. Oh, yeah. Jack, brilliant try from you. The boy from Merca. Harvey Byron. Anything from you, Gareth? Good try. Wise words. What can you expect a drop kick from that, you know, from that position? Have you seen my shots? I, unfortunately, I have. Okay. I'm unlucky enough to have witnessed those. It's Rory Mears, everyone. Our, our seven specialist, Rory Mears. Tackling, boys. Oh, 
when the boys get, you just boys need to get up on him. It's just. You can hear the Brecon coaches telling the boys just to put that pressure on them. Can they get tackling, boys? Oh, he takes them down. Lewis would have been gone then. You know, Lewis has got pace on him, that boy. Wheels. Go to him, boys. Oh, and Reese Pearson gets bounced back a little bit there. Brecon ball. Is keeping that pressure up. Actually in a scrum now. That's a hell of a front pack from Brecon. That's Owen Conker, Lloyd Powell, and Owen McIntyre. I would not want to scrummage against those three, I'll tell you that much. Oh, and Gethin Galahad. Oh, oh he's just he's just on a different level, isn't he? Ruthless penetration of the defense there. He's just, he's a big boy and he's got that speed on him and ultimately they don't want it. <laughs> we see James Hayward coming on, also known as Wallace. Number 13, Owen Conker comes off, as does Owen McIntyre. Now it's just, actually, you know, year 11 and starting in sevens. He's just a brilliant player. He's in Cardiff Blues under 16s, as is his brother. You know, the, the Conker family is just on a different level. They're conquering the South Wales rugby scene, boys. <laughs> that is one way of putting it. <laughs> Team Huddle, Sam. Team Huddle. High break. Get high break, boys. You see, boys, imagine the stuff being said in that huddle now. I imagine they'll be saying, you know, boys, get that intensity up. You know, Dean Close, good side, but ultimately, this is all about who's the better side on the pitch. And right now, we're seeing it. You can see Ewan McIntyre giving a stern word to his boys, as is the cap, as is one of the leaders over in Dean Close. We see talk being led by Mr. Parry, captain, no, coach of Brecon. They are Parry's balmy arm, Dan. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Thank you, Jack Hager, for uh, the compliment on my commentation commentary. As well as Mr. Thompson, co I'd like to thank you as well, saying I'm in my element with the mic. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. It goes a long way. See, the boys are back now. Second half is about to begin. Any, any words from any of you boys? Chupapi. It's Gethin O'Galahad, everyone. <laughs> uh, Lloyd Conker asking for a shout out. <laughs> he is our number one starting water boy. That's, an, that's the third Conker. He'll be playing. He'll be, he'll be on that squad hopefully next year, I'd like to see. I'd like to come back next year and uh, see him taking up that place. It's second half, 19-5 to Christ College Brecon. And Finn O'Donovan, I mean that number 20 there, Finn O'Donovan, you know, that's a prop in the making right there. Any words from you, Garan? Good game. Once again, insightful from you. Oh, Reese Conker, he just, he's just, oh, is he not quite? Oh, Lewis Owls, wheels on him. He's not quite in this time. No, no try. Uh, 
Christ College undefeated in their pool. Can they go the day undefeated? I sure hope so. Not to sound like a biased commentator, but I must say I am. Gets on him, boys. He kicks it. Finn O'Donovan chases. I kicks it. Come on. Can he pick it up? Number 12 runs through. Dean Close, number 12. I That was Jack Hobson, Dean Close, number 12. Running right now. Oh, can Lloyd get him? Lloydy, he can't quite. But Finn O'Donovan does. The Barry boy brings it in strong. Oh, no, free kick. Dennis Goom gives the ball. Good number eight, Jack Thorne, number nine, Charlie McKint, number seven, that is Alex Powell. Uh, that is Ollie Ollie Hoenig scor scoring for Dean Close. So that we'll go credit where credit is due. That was a good cry to, cry to Dean Close. I reckon still in need, but they've got to keep their head heads up now. He misses that conversion, a rather easy one, I must say. I wouldn't go that far. But Dean Close are playing very well. It's a good game. Two very strong sides, I must say. Who's coming on for Finn? Oh, Harry Holden. Tom Voss gets hand off. He holds on tight, though. He offloads it quickly. James Hayward wraps himself around him, takes him down. Number five offloads it to seven. He goes in. Ooh, he cuts back around. He tries to hand him off. James just isn't having it. Wallace, our number seven. Brilliant. Lloydy takes it. Oh, Dylan Skirm. Papa Skirm. Is he? Captain of Sevens and Grenoble Youth. Brilliant. B remarkable. Who's that? Reese Pearson. Reese Conker. Two Reese's tearing it up. To look at the TV screen too much. Lloyd Powell passes it. Oh, Owen Conker. Oh, good hit. Tom Voss from Grenoble. Oh, Lloydy gets it through. Lloydy. Brilliant from you, Lloydy. Gethin comes back on as Dylan Skoom comes off. He's had a good kick, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, they'll all be knackered at this point. So, And Lloydy comes off as well. Is that Ewan McIntyre coming on for a Lloyd Powell? Fair play to Dean Close. They're putting in a very good shift. Oh, Reese Conker comes off with a bleeding lip. As he, as he said, Lloyd Powell comes off. Second in the game. Thank you, Garan. He holds him up. They hold him up. Oh, he just throws the ball away. Number 12, Gethin just standing his ground against him. Oh, and Tom Voss chases. He picks it up. Oh, he gives it to Jack Perrins. My head of house. You see two commentators staring up between them. Oh, and Gethin's got it. He's in it. He's in his element. Oh, and oh, and Ewan's just in. You can't stop the green wall. He might, be, he, he might do. He just might.
Lewis Owls comes on. That man has some wheels on him. Not too much. I mean, I'd love to be on the pitch still, but Devons isn't isn't the place for me. How about you, Nick? I wish I was playing. He was close. I must say, Nick Hatch deserves that position. I think we'll be seeing him on the pitch next year, ladies and gentlemen. Crush College will just end up probably sent kicking it out, I'd imagine. That's what I'd be doing. They'll be tired. They've got a long day ahead of them. Up they go. Three more. You can't stop the, the Brecon. I mean, fair play to Dean Close. They've put in a hell of a shift today. I tackled. Not quite. Not quite, Rory. I don't think it's a high tackle. The high tackle has to be above the neck, remember? Above the shoulders in the new rules, actually. In the new RFU rules um, implemented right. next year, um, well high tackle done, will now be the waist. The big um, game's which over. Proves to be a controversial decision. Christ um, College 33. With many Dean people Close. saying that it excludes Ten. larger players from um, the game, but uh, it's up for the viewers to decide. Right. Indeed. Like Wise words. Game, it? Garen Jenkins. Yeah. And that's full time, ladies and gentlemen. Christ College 33. Dean Close 10. Brilliant from both sides today. Christ College just coming away with the victory. Yeah, well thought. I think both sides played outrageously well, to be honest. Who would you say is man of the match, though? If I had to give it to someone, I'd gi probably give it to Ewan McIntyre today on yeah, this game. Yeah, well deserved. He put in a good shift. Yeah, he did, didn't he? But to be honest, I wouldn't undermine any of them. I think it's a t it was a team effort. You know, he's been on the wing, he's been set up. So, you know, he's taken the glory. But I think together, all of the boys deserve that credit. He is a draft, isn't he? Anything from you, Garan? That was a very exciting game to watch. This is Yoan's really cousin talking. Game. TikTok uh, influential star. Off they come off the pitch. Proud boys. As the boys come in, I'm hoping to see if I can get some words from one of them. Right, you and McIntyre, we have uh, named you man of the match. What are your comments for that match? Thanks. Oh, okay. At least he's grateful. Good words from the captain. All right, here he is, the colonel, Dylan Skirm. <laughs> Any words on that? Up at CCB. Uh, come on, Gunnar. Brecon boys come in. I think Gethin O'Galahad wants to say a few words. Shmai <laughs> Shmai. That's Shmai <laughs> Shmai from Gethin, everyone. They're all chuffed. They're happy. <laughs> I'd just like to apologise for all the mispronunciations of Gethin O'Galahad, I've been saying. O'Callahad. O'Callahad. Callahan. Callahan. Oh. Han. 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 Callahan. 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 Oh, my God. Callahan. From Gethin and Callahan. <laughs> my, my There's a reason this boy takes two A-levels. <laughs> and that's Lewis Howells that is ironically user. teaching me how to talk properly. <laughs> Go follow my Instagram, like. <laughs> that's the younger Conker brother there. That's the third Conker brother that will be soon. We'll see him in the green and gold in no time, I'm sure. Yes, Lewis. As the next team gets set. Why, do you think it's lunchtime for us now? Or? Well, it is a bit of a get break now, isn't it? Oh, so they've got a bit of time. So will this be the last one of the last ones now, I guess? And then everyone's on a break. Okay. Right, I have to go to a lunch now, so I think I'll be retiring for a bit. That's yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be back. Okay, and it's Rory Muir stepping off as Garen Jenkins steps onto commentary. Good day. <laughs> right, Kyle, good stuff about you. Uh, thank you. That's Rory Muir's leaving everyone. Interesting character, him, but you got to rate it. So, um, as Nick, Nick's here with us as well. Anything from you, Nick? Uh, a good win from the boys against a uh, strong Dean Close side. Collegiate kickoff. 
collegiate. Is that how we? I don't know. If I I'm I not confident in that pronunciation, s- but I so have really apologies to any <laughs> collegiate, collegiate, collegiate <laughs> fans. <laughs> Collegians. Apologise to the Collegians, Barmy Army. That's Mr. Parry hitting us with a smile as he leaves. Very happy. <laughs> Very happy with Brecon's success, I think. Let's see if we can find team sheets for. Yes, yes. So we have here Collegians versus. Colleg- Colleg- I think, is it? Colleg- oh, yeah, Colleg- Colleg- oh, yeah, Colleg- 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 So I've got the Collegiate team sheet here. Uh, we've got Archie Walker wearing number two, Joe Lloyd is number three. Harry Burton, number four. Charlie Randall, number five. Number 14 makes a break. Who's number 14? That is... Who have we got no- as number oh, 14? Number yeah? 14, Jude Williams. He has got some legs on him. Yeah. That's a nice try. Wheels as Colliger we say. Kamai. Very quick. Um, for Colliger Kamai, number one... No, number eight, we've got Tom Fry. Number five, Scott Bishop. Number six, Brad Lewis. Number seven, Garon Griffiths. Number nine, Ben Huxtable. Number 12, Kian Lewis. Number 15, Thomas Hogan. Number 11, Rhys Meredith. Number 10, Dylan Scott. And number 14, the try scorer, Jude Williams. And I must say, all standards of rugby today are just phenomenal. The conversion was successful. So as we uh, restart, it's seven to nothing to Colliger Kamai. We've got in the yellow, Collegiate, and in the green and black, Collega Kamoi. Oh, that is a big hit for the kickoff. You can see it's physical. That's high a good steal from Collega Kamoi. And it's a penalty. Collegiate under pressure here. Who is that? Number Bro- 11 is in. Rhys Meredith takes it under the posts. And that's a nice finish. He runs, oh, he runs under the sticks. Brilliant. It's a nice, tr- nice, nice try from a uh, colleague. Number 11, Rhys Meredith. Version is successful made? or unsuccessful? Looks a like bit Colliger successful. Collegiate Gummo really dominating this. Collegiate have been having a slow day, to put it lightly. But let's just hope we hope to see they can make it back. What is it? <laughs> that was Garen Jenkins realizing he's been on mute on his microphone this whole time. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that is very unlucky go from uh, Rhys Meredith there. It's a good chase from the kickoff. Yeah, it's more of that, and uh, we might get some try scoring opportunities from that I kind of so. move. I hope so. Yeah. And uh, we're just <laughs> admiring the lush greenery that is this field. I mean, the entire grounds here are just beautiful. What do you think? It's your first time here in Brecon. What do you think of it, Garan? Yes, it is. Um, it's well, it's lovely. Um, the the facilities here are the facilities here are you know they're inc- they're incredible. They're first class. Okay, different, better than the facilities at Goyer, would you say? Nah, up the mighty Gascol <laughs> having Goyer. <laughs> Big hit there from um, well, Henri Meredith. As the ball gets spread out wide. 
Ooh, good regather. But he's lost on the floor, it seems. It's turnover ball from College yet. Uh, it's a knock on. Knock on from College come out, scrum down, collegiate ball. And we see a scrum. I mean, in pack size, it looks like Colliger Kamoi just got that bigger pack. What do you think? From the, the Valley boys, aren't they? So, uh, you know, that's what they're renowned for. <laughs> Their pack size, is that how we word it? Well, yeah, well some, some big boys. <laughs> in, 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 a, in the nicest way possible. I mean, it's a well great advantage. It. They chase. It's a, uh, it's a strong nice chase. Kick. The fullback has been forced to turn and chase backwards, but he regathers safely. And he returns the ball now. Colin Kamai is number 12 now. He's making a break. Who is this? Number 12. I don't have his name. I'm we afraid. Um, we good run. Well, number 12. Good run from you. Oh, no, I do. Keir Lewis. Good run. Oh! The collegiate have nicked the ball. Oh, they have. Penalty now to Colin Kamai. Collegiate not releasing on the floor. We're still in the first half. Number 40, Jude Williams taking it up. Who is he? Nice run, number 11. I think we are. We Well, we're top of our pool, undefeated. And only number one. eight is it through. Close and Tom Fry lost two of their with games, a so. Kamai's third try of this game. Third try of the first half. You know, and that's going to be a... <laughs> there's a I, I, it's gonna be I can only see this game finishing in one way. It's going to be a hard pull way to pull back from uh, Collegiate, I think. But it's not impossible. We've seen it happen. It can happen again. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I think Collegiate haven't had a great day. That's, so that's half time. What are, any words from you, Nick, at half time? Collegiate looking um, quite small. Kamoy's really utilising their size advantage to be more physical. Great space. Mm, that was Nick House, everyone. Star player in the 15s, seen in uh, Seaford 10s. Hopefully, we'll be seeing him next year out on this sevens pitch. Um, I, I imagine so. As we wait now for the second half to kick off, what, what do you see? Who do you think are the most best-looking teams today in terms of who do you think has the best chance today? Well, I must say, Christ College have got some good-looking boys. <laughs> Finn O'Donnell's <laughs> beard is looking <laughs> well-trimmed. But in all uh, serious... Jack Perrin's in all handsome all as ever. <laughs> in all seriousness, Christ College, they do look dangerous today. I think they could all go all the way. Christ College, um, I must say, uh, even from a non-biased perspective, I think Christ College are looking like the favourites. What do you well think as someone, as a neutral perspective, who do you think? Well, from all the teams I watched today, Christ College have been by far the strongest. You know, their defence, eh, well, a team's trying to get through that is like, pff, oh, you know, it's like uh, it's like an elephant yeah. trying to fit through a keyhole. Yeah, it's not happening. It's, <laughs> it's like a Berlin Wall. And Christ College, in terms of their, they do not they do not stop when they're up ahead. They're ruthless with their attack, you know. They uh, score tries from minute one to minute 14. I mean, I wouldn't want to come up against them. How about you? Oh, no chance. <laughs> Someone that just played us Vera the other day, uh, Garan. Yeah, how do it was the start of the season. <laughs> but I think Christ College looking strong. Obviously, us Vera got a big final on Thursday, so good luck to them. Or not. As uh, still no. uh, still bitter after last year, Johan. Not last year. They uh, they they knocked us out in the semis. No, la Fair last year. Last year. Oh, of course, yeah, but. That could be uh, could be Brecon, but fair play. Looks to like College yet making a break now. Oh, can College he go? Is number, five. number five. What from is Collegiate. his name? We need his name. Oh, we can't that was find fantastic it. Fantastic. Oh, he run. gets stopped, but, but he's he stopped. brilliant. Number five. That's Charlie Randall from Collegiate. The ref calls him in. It looks like it's going to be a scrum. I've got to say, this pitch is lovely, but the Elbers, you know, sun rivals, the Elbers. Elba Gauter, this is a fantastic pitch. I mean, 
But they just look to have the bigger pack right now. guy beating what number next for Collegio? Tolga Comer, that Dylan be Scott. Dylan Scott. Most Dylan dangerous Scott player going forward he is. Uh, Colston aren't playing. Uh, yeah, Collegio have scored. The score is mm. oh, 20 no 21 mil to Colega no, Comer. No. Although, I don't know what ha what's happened oh. to the Collegiate boys at half time, but they've you come out. A lot stronger. Might need to go and check with someone and have a wander around. You can ask. No voice. You see, Ollie Rose, any words from you? So Ollie Rose is quite injured. He could be playing today. I hope it. I hope it's just trying to see if we can get a live stream chat on, but it's it's not up. <laughs> yes, sir. Me and Garen confer conferring about being sensible, as usual. It's a funny feeling being sensible. Something that doesn't come naturally to anyone with a surname Jenkins, I must say. That is true. Except for Angus, he's just boring though. <laughs> Shout <laughs> if he's watching, but let's be honest, he's not up yet. If you're watching, I don't like you. <laughs> Oh, and oh, oh. college have just scored. Well, we've been rambling. Fair play to Apologies them. for missing that. Um, um, well, I don't, yeah, I don't as I said, uh, we've got a team sheet here, but we're not sure scored. who scored that. Um, I apologise. Uh, I keep going to look at the TV for commentary and forgetting that that's me. It looks as though the conversion was unsuccessful. So, so the score to remains 21 to 5 to Colliger Come Out. I think coming, calling a combo. They're just coming out strong, aren't they? Just well really pumping it. Well, you're saying that, Johan. First half, I thought calling a combo were all over college yet. College were really under the cosh, but uh, I'm not sure what's happened half time. College have, have come out uh, come all guns blazing. Half time, they've really been uh, ripped into and thought we need to change this. We need to start working. I think that's what they're doing. Kicks it. Who's that? Collega oh, Kamai. Number, Collega 12. Kamai, number 12. That is Kian Lewis making a run. Oh, no. Looks as though the ball's been stolen whilst I was checking the team sheets. Number three. Oh. Number three. Falls flat on his face, but poor bloke. I hope he's okay. Oh, he's up. He's okay. No advantage, knocked forward from the ref. Well, not from the ref. From Words the from, from the ref. ref. So, Yoel, I've got a question. Who do you think on this pitch has the best trim? Best trim? Oh, that's a good question. I'm, I'm having a look now. I mean, I, can see, I know you're so a man that loves his mullets. Um... I'm I'm not seeing any, any good trim. I'm seeing a lot of dead trims. <laughs> Nick House is saying number seven with a good trim. Thirteen Colleague for Collegiate with a good trim from Nick House. Um, looks as though Collegiate come with have a player with a scrum cap, which could be hiding the best trim. That's what I think. I on think this planet, I think he's got a mohawk under there, but we'll never know. I think it's an afro. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ooh. and he runs. Yeah, he picks it up. It's crazy. When are you boys going to go on? When are you boys going to get on? Get him once you jump on. What's uh, the game's looking good, you know? Get him once you jump on. Call it, call it this is um, Garan from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> How's the game going, yo? 
It's going good. Um, to be honest, though, not so good for Collegia. Collega Komoiv are strong. They've really pumped yeah. them this game. I mean, um, you know, I've played with a few of these, you know, early, early card of rugby stages. Early so, you know, rugby. Yeah, Kayan and that, you know, wingers. We've they got a good team, you know. Yeah. Of course, you not. I, I've been saying all the way through, we haven't got a lot of boys in Cardiff anymore, and I think yeah. that's poor. I think if anyone Cardiff listening, I think there's some Brecon boys that should be picked up. You know, yeah, well, you know, just got to keep it going at it. Oh, really? Yeah. Leave I mean, to them. you yourself should have been picked up. I think Dylan Skoom not being picked up is a crime, yeah, to be Dill, honest. Yeah, you know, he's been consistent um, all year. Yeah, know, I don't know if Matt Price is playing for Matt someone Price, now. Yeah, he's off with the Midlands. Oh, England, that's good he's on a camp there, you know, so um, I think for him that'll be some good exposure. Yeah, I don't know how some of these boys just aren't getting recognised in this school. Finn O'Donovan, why is he not being recognised? I think he's an outstanding player. Um, uh, brilliant, we another one. Uh, Ewan McIntyre, bring him back. I see this play now, eh? I mean, if you're taking sympathy cards, then Jack oh, Perry. Great line, be on great that. line. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Collegia. Nope. Is it? Here we are, Kamoy. Oh, close. Knock on there. So many opportunities, I think. Now there's game. That's full time, what everyone. What a game, what a game. So that's. 21-5 to Collega Kamoid. I think Miss Jones has really wanted to get on the mic, but she's a bit nervous. <laughs> this is on the stream. Uh, Johan, do you know who we have on next? I do not. I think we're taking a break now for a little bit, to be honest. Oh, well, grab, um, some, grab some grub. Yeah, grabbing some grub, some food. Um, and I think everyone's coming back then for... What is it? Yeah, the I think they're going for Schmeichma. Schmeichma? <laughs> That's Gethin, <laughs> Gethin everyone. <laughs> We'd like to thank him. It's Gethin. I hope to see him next year playing for Cardiff Blues. Can't stress that enough. I think our our physio coach is keen to say a few words. Anything from the physio sessions you've been running early mornings? I, I know of S and C sessions, which yeah, and Nico in from the physio festival. I think um, someone that can't, hasn't been attending often, as uh, mornings are something I take good pride in. But I think they're a useful session. I think a lot of the boys really enjoy going when they turn up, um, and I think they're they're really benefiting them, aren't they? I think the whole the whole academy we've got going here, you know, strength and conditioning Monday morning and a Friday morning. We're tr the boys are out there training. How many times a week? That's almost four times a week. I think their commitment is just outstanding, to be honest. And that and it's showing today how how well we've played. As I think we've taken a break. Um, are we still on or are we on a break? Um, so that's us signing off before an interview begins. Uh, one one o'clock, the interview will begin. Thank you very much. Well, the interview <laughs> the interview started twenty minutes ago. <laughs> the interview. <laughs>
Well, I'm here with Cathy, and Neil. So we have a regular soldier and a reservist soldier. Yeah. So, um, firstly, I'll ask you, as a regular soldier, what does your normal day entail? Daily inter. Okay, so it varies. So my job at the moment, so I'm part of the region engagement team for Wales. So what I do is I travel round Wales, so north, um, north, east, west, south. Um, go to schools, colleges, unis, events like this, Royal Welsh Show. Um, and what we're trying to do is engage from youth, so age 14 up to sort of 18, and give them a bit of information about the military and get them to work on life skills. So that's pretty much pretty much what my job is at the moment. But usually within um, the regular army, I am a clerk, so I pay people. So I'll be attached to a unit. Um, I change that every two years, so I've been attached to an artillery unit. Um, next month I'll be moving to a signal regiment, and I'll make sure that they get paid every month, because everyone likes to get paid. Yeah, um, I have a question. Uh, when you go around these schools, what, what regions of Wales usually show the most interest? Is um, it, it really southern? I, I haven't really noticed a difference in the regions um, with the ages when they're sort of getting to 15, 16. Obviously, they're looking at the yeah. opportunities leaving school, so that's when we get more of the interest of how do we sign up, can we join cadets and things like that. But I haven't noticed there's been too much of a difference in the regions. All right, and Neil, day in the life? Uh, day in the life, well, my CV role reserve, is, a, is a lecturer at Cardiff Met. So they're oh, very, nice. very supportive of the armed forces, signing the covenant and going for our silver award. So in terms of my reservist role then, I'm a comms operator with the RLC and uh, I've also a second trade as a PTI as well. So a typical reservist experience for me in the week would be a, a training night on a Wednesday. So I'll run e early PT from, 17, oh, nice. from yeah. 17.30 and then uh, there's time for scoff and a, and a change of clothes and then, and then we'll parade at 19.30 and whatever the training that is for that evening, we'll have a couple of hours there and then uh, we go away sort of every other weekend then. To, uh, to do different exercises and just be be ready to be, yeah, caught, and, to um, be caught upon. Is our the PTing that you do or the training? Is it? I know in the army it's more calisthenics, weight training, running. Uh, there's there has been an evolution. Um, obviously, a lot of CrossFit has CrossFit. Has, 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 has creeped in. Uh, so we've gone away from slow, steady state running, yeah. pounding the joints and the knees. And, yeah. and, and the army is more more so sports scientific than it's ever been. So the. Yeah. Uh, the, the sports science input is is definitely um, evident. So yeah, it's 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 short, sharp, high intensity, looking after the body and looking after the soldiers as well. All right. So uh, social life. Social <laughs> life. Within <laughs> the uh, army or out of the army? Um, both. <laughs> yeah. So both. within the army, it can be pretty good. So we get a lot of opportunities to sort of do adventure training and stuff like that. Um, so last year I went sailing, learned how to sail. Um, some of the guys that I work with have just been skiing. So you've got that nice. sort of aspect. Um, usually with the regular army you get a thing called sports afternoon on a Wednesday so you can pretty much do any sport oh, that you can teams, think of yeah. yeah so any sport that you can think of Wednesday afternoon you, everyone puts down um, their work and goes off and they um, socialize that way um, and then obviously I've got me in civilian street as well I like to do a lot of water sports in my spare time that's pretty much what I do for fun what water sports is it um, so I do a lot of paddleboarding oh, kayaking so I went surfing yesterday down at the wave in Bristol which was really good um, I'm from southern England so luckily I got to bring, be brought up next to a beach which is quite good um, okay. What other questions have I got? Just on that point, like the, from yeah. a res reservist perspective, uh, there's similar opportunities as well. Yeah. So, personally, I'll referee rugby union for the army on a Wednesday, just from, from time to time. And it, is it with it, uh, the army? Is it rugby? Is like regiments against regiments? You have you have units against units, and then you have corps against against corps. Then yeah, okay. so it varies, and um, and then all the opportunities uh, mentioned then about AT. So my regiment, two week skiing trip coming up. Uh, nice. For all levels of, of, of expertise as well, so the opportunities yeah. are there for both. It's just it's just getting time off city life. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know. It's good to get a break. Yeah. yeah. Uh, adventure training. Tell me about adventure training. Adventure training. Um, so again, there's pretty much any sort of adventure training sport that you want to do, you could do. So there's a lot that run out of Brecon. So um, yeah. obviously we've got the headquarters here. They run a lot of adventure training out there. So it could be hill walking, mountain biking, kayaking, caving. Um, you get the opportunity to do any of that and then once you're in, um, once you've done that a few times you can go and do instructor calls so you can transfer those into civilian qualifications as well which is really good. Yeah, um, okay now talk, tell me about opportunities that the army's given you for the future and opportunities that you've had as a re regiment. Sure. Do you want to go Cassie? first? Yeah sure, I suppose sure. From, from my perspective you bring your city skills into the military yeah. and you know so from a teaching background I'm able to help other 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 soldiers and tr try and help them develop as well so that that that's where my city skills come in and then likewise I get the benefit of ex-regulars who've joined the reserves 
help me yeah. develop my sol soldiering skills. So yeah, but you know, it's, there's little things like we, we have um, our values and standards, so sea drills, the way you carry yourself, yeah. the way you're professional, and, and while you're technically on duty, only so much of the time, you're always on duty. So you try and, you try and live those values every day. So yeah, it, it definitely improves you. I'm, I'm in my 40s, and I've certainly become a better person, even though I've only been in a short while, you know? Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah, I think it's sort of similar. So there's a lot of opportunity for gaining qualifications, regardless of what sort of things you're interested in. So that could be trade specific. So with my job, you could do degrees. I've done diplomas, things like that. Um, even if you don't get sort of uh, sort of your maths and English and things like that, a lot of people don't seem to get them when they join. Um, you have the opportunity to do all of those basics as well, which I think is really good. And a lot of the qualifications you do can transfer. So when I leave, um, I'll have those those qualifications as well, and I can take those into civilian jobs. And our, our university has taken regulars who thought, oh, I didn't, I, 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 I played around a little bit of school, I didn't get my qualifications. But then, as you said, the whole portfolio that they cover off in the military, yeah. we can R RPL that, and we've got the mature people who've got lots, lots of life experiences coming in who are really motivated to do, to do degree pathways. So, you know, that's part of what we do as well. So it's, it's great to see it. All right, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, cheers. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. And relax.
So coming up now, we've got Landovery Session Team versus uh, Collegiate in the fifth place versus fifth place, uh, playing for the bowl uh, here on pitch one. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Right, so collegiate kicking off against Landover session team. Good place to win it. Pitch seven, taking it up, making lots of ground. Collegiate with a penalty for not releasing. Collegiate take it quickly. <laughs> nice Looking to, number three. to take Offside it up the middle. Oh, fumble from number six. Double fumble. Oh, but he's broken and he's through. Line, he's score. That is. Oh, and that score from number six from Collegiate, which is. Um, in my view. I don't know. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yo. That is a missed conversion from collegiate school. The hooker for collegiate taking the kick off, kicking it low and short. Apprehensive for attack. Looks like Landovery kick it through. And oh! He's got a great touch. Unfortunately, oh, got a hand off as well on the pass. Landovery could be in here. Great bit of rugby here, bit of champagne rugby for you guys. Ah, oh, excellent tackle from the other team. Colgate. Collegiate. 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 I think, I think oh, penalties for collegiate. Stream quality is good. Great tackle from Callum Davis. Penalty against collegiate to Landovery. Landovery looked to oh, take it oh, quick. Knock on. <coughs> Very unfortunate for them. Missed the mark though. A local boy right here, Landovery, part of the beloved RSC. The uh, Thunder V2's scrum, let's see how they fare against the Collegiate scrum. Collegiate have been pretty good throughout the day. Lloyd Thomas, Mason Lees, and Davin Edgeworth, I believe, is in there. Thunder V2. Yeah, applying pressure. Oh, here comes Collegiate, great. Over the top. Can they make something up of this? Oh, great. Oh! oh, unfortunate with the knock on. Very unfortunate. It's been stripped of the ball. Excellent from number four. Handing off, I believe. I that we will win. Thunder looking for a quick scrum to spread it wide to their pace men. Oh, 
and they'll be hoping to get a ball in and out of this scrum and to open up on the wide channels. Great scrum they've been using, unfortunately. Oh, Ferg. Carl Ferg for the chip and chase. Oh, small toss on, from Ferg. Ferg. Unfortunate to again. not gather the ball. Outstanding feet. Great oh, line great by the line. Collegiate. Are on the front. Oh, great oh, handoff as well. Has he got the gas? Thunderbury may have this. He does not have the gas to get through, but the offload. Oh, the offload oh. has gone straight to Landovery. Oh, Thunderbury. And Thunderbury could counter here. Oh, the space is on. Uh, they've gone for a kick as well. Oh, and he Excellent looks like he has the gas. Can he regain the ball? Oh, oh, unfortunate to have the knock on. Oh, play is still live though. A very end to end game this is. Battling in and out in this first half. Excellent bit of rugby right now. Oh, Kalisha's on the front Oh, ball. great tap tackle. Oh, excellent. He's still going from their own 22. Brilliant, exciting rugby this is. Well said, Finn. Well said. Number seven. Thunder, unfortunately, not getting that tackle in yet. Still pumping, though, collegiate. Oh, this is some tired faces that you can see from this camera angle. Oh, collegiate may be in. And oh, collegiate are Hunter. in, in the corner. The Outstanding great bit of rugby. Will they be able to convert this, though? Collegiate going with a 10-hour lead. Trying to make it 12. This will be a very tough kick from a wide angle right here. Can the collegiate hooker Look make the kick? Debris. See subs coming on. And collegiate miss the conversion. And it is 10 nil at... 10 nil, six minutes in. Collegiate hoping to stretch their lead even further in this game. Lloyd Conker, the younger Conker brother, has a word. This is a very interesting game Great right now. Very two sided. Oh, and that's hell of a hit. Bye. Over to Finn Shepherd now. I don't know. Stand over, used to look wide, but it's kicked. Nice kick downfield kick instead. See if they can chase it up. The real foot chase now. Number 11. Oh, good wheels from number 11. Oh, but good foot. That'll come out for good a stand over line out. Taken quickly but stopped by the referee. So uh, now we're just waiting for the uh, collegiate line out to um, uh, sorry, for land every line out to happen. Uh, they've got a good opportunity here to uh, convert to some points and try and catch up on the lead. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's taken quick. Out taken. Oh, that was number 10, Lex not, not straight. Unlucky for Landovery there. That was a good, uh, good decision with the uh, quick line out trying to trip the, uh, the opposition. So now it's uh, scrum down, uh, collegiate ball, trying to uh, get out of their own territory, uh, make a bit of ground, take the pressure off of themselves. Collegiate really look really need to look to move this ball forward at the pitch more. Oh, good scrummage from Collegiate to win that back. Oh, Landovery penalty though. Taken quickly by the scrum half. And they shift it wide. And could this be in you? Can they use it? Oh, number eleven, Hugh Jones. 11. Hugh Jones. The end of the first half, uh, we conclude 10 5 collegiate with a uh, dominant lead with lots of good attack and rugby, but lacking a little bit in the defence, allowing Fandovery to uh, put some balls in behind and chase it well.
collegiate lead 10-5 f- at halftime. How did it feel watching your uh, two older brothers go at it, hammer and Tom, and then beat uh, the opposite sex? Uh, it was very good. It was very good. Obviously, I take a lot of inspiration from both of them. And uh, just to see them both smashing, smashing some opposition players is, is great to watch every weekend, uh, every week. Really going to talk about that number seven, Mason Lees. What an absolute rhino he is. Absolutely yeah. ginormous. I aspire to be like him. Right, we're about to get started for the second half. Ten to Collegiate, five to Llandovery, two. So Llandovery kick off now, sending it very short. It's not gone ten there, so uh, back for a uh, Collegiate ball. So uh, Collegiate taking a tap and go from the uh, the middle of the pitch. With it's a kicked a nice downfield. Kick from number five, see if he can chase it up. Um, a good recovery from the uh, Llandovery boy. Only turn uh, it again. Pick up. And now, uh, poor pass sends it into traffic. It's in. And it's a little ding through the top of the middle, oh, sorry. Can he chase it down? Oh, collegiate boy drops on it. Very nice. Very scrappy rugby. But uh, collegiate are doing well to uh, try and clean it up a little bit. Uh, good pass from number six. And then number four tries to carry it out wide. And another great offload. But uh, it's a little bit Unfortunately, forward. that's forward. So far this, uh, this half, we've seen some good attacking rugby from both sides. We <laughs> and it's a scrum, Shandov ball. Can they look to do something with this now? Very hairy scrum here. Oh, they go blind. Number 11, Hugh Jones again. It's gone downfield now. And See that's who's that? Who's that? On the other side. Can he back himself? Who's that? Oh, and he goes straight through the gap. Jamie Tester. Not getting caught from there. Jamie Tester. Under the post. What a magnificent solo try from the young man, Jamie. Beautiful. So with five minutes remaining, the uh, scores are tied so far, and they've converted it now. So Landovery leads 12-10. And then we look to kick off again now. Taking the lead by two points. Oh, much better kick this time from uh, the Land of the uh, try half. And it's well taken. Oh, good tackle. Stopped in his tracks. Good line pressure from uh, number four. But uh, Cleaver seems to have found some space on the wing. It's very wide. Can he back himself now? Oh, good offload. Number four struggling through. Oh, the good tackle. Another offload, but uh, he's recovered it well. Oh, oh and it's ripped by it's ripped by Mason Lee's. Ball. Oh, it's gone Scrum collegiate, collegiate ball. Can they do much with this? So collegiate looks to spread it wide now. Try and use up some of the space that they've got available. Oh, and it's knocked on. And poor hands from the collegiate backs there. That's very unfortunate. Sorry, bye.
They have an option to give it to number 11, Hugh Jones, who has wheels. But no, they're going the other way. Oh, it's ripped. Oh, great turnover. But there's no, uh, no scrum half for the Kiwis. Leeds have a ball now. Very messy, but Tunisia seem to be uh, taking control of the game. Here you go now, Khalidja on the run, on the ball. Oh, he's got a one-man overlap. Oh! oh this boy has wow. got wheels. Wow. This boy has got wheels indeed. I think they converged. They converged it. Kalizier took off again now. Nice oh, oh, great hit from number great. six. But an even better off. right in his track. Oh, and here we go now. Cal Ferg, Cal Ferg, Cal Ferg. He's going. Going. He's 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 going. Some people call him the Messi of rugby of Gwynevig youth. Wow. And that proves skills on this man. those footballing skills were absolutely techy. Absolutely phenomenal. Ben M. And the little Gwynevig, the little Gwynevig hand gesture. Unfortunately, it's did you get that? Can you? He converted it. He did, he did indeed convert it. Wow. 19-15 Landovery with one minute left on the clock. Let's see if Kalija can pull it back. Mighty Cal Ferg of Gwynabit managing to put himself over for a try in the last two minutes of the game. He's a solid player, isn't he? Very good. Oh, good kick from the land every player there. An even better kick shape. Oh, 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 oh nice look at that. He's running. He's, he's running. Oh, oh, great parry from the number 11. Oh, he's kept in well. Oh, big hit from number 10 there. Right, out it well, goes, Kalija out. Spread, spread it wide, trying to get it to the, uh, the outer areas with he's the uh, speeders. He's got space. He's got space. Oh, he takes it himself. Oh, what oh, a bump there. Oh. Oh, oh, wonderful offload. Oh, yes. And he finishes in the corner. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is champagne rugby at its finest. Yeah. That was a beauty. Game's almost over. He knocked it on. What? Did he? The game reports that he knocked it on. And he did. And he did. Thanks for that. Landovery scrum. Oh, be careful. I'm right, so we reckon this is the last play of the game, is it? So can Kalija win back the game in the last play of the <laughs> last play of the match? I hope Kalija scores. <laughs> oh my <laughs> days! <laughs> right here we go, here we go, and it's a try. Beautiful try from Kalija. Yeah, good job, boys. I just got here. Finn, you've been on there too long.
Right, for the game that we have been waiting for. Right, boys, it's the Price return of gold. Johan Jenkins. He's coming back on Freeling commentary. Gold. And uh, Rory Mears is signing off as well for Liam Powell. Uh, no, thank you. He's already been on him. Switching on now. Getting ready. <laughs> Boys are getting up to it, yeah. <laughs> Justin versus Price Holland. Joel Skirm going up. Joel Skirm leading. Captain for the Sevens. Green's looking brilliant today, I must say. Yeah, no chance we can get some of these points. Yeah. Lee's taking his one knee. Yeah, Green's off. Got another three seconds on that. What do you think the game's going to be like, Liam? Uh, I think it's going to be... Christ College doing their <laughs> signature. Oh Who yeah, are we? Now. Christ oh Call. It's the first time seeing it here on uh, for the Sevens. Started by Dylan Skirm, a scream of who are we, by the Christ call. I like it. What do you think of it? Yeah, no, I think it's really good, you know. I think it's a bit a bit cocky, like we're missing a bit of our actual win here. But That's, you know, I was thinking that. But we we haven't been able to do the ready since Albuquerque. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. It's going to be a great game for two hours. Mears is back on, Liam Powell is abandoned, so between me and Garen Jenkins, we'll be managing for comp. Right, let's go for <coughs> scrum now. Uh, the scoreboard, it's nil-nil. Oh, it's CCB versus Clifton College. Clifton College. I think it's Clifton, is that right? That is right. I hear they're very good. Oh, oh Owen Conker ripped to the floor. That's, that's something that you don't that's game. something you don't see every day. No, it's very rare, isn't it? He's a big boy, Owen. You don't like getting pushed about. When you're that size, you don't get pushed about. Oh, still got Dylan Skirm just I mean you can feel that, you know, the bo these boys are tired now. It's been a long day of rugby. Right, it's, it's a it's a relentless they stop getting just runs. It's a playmaker. Reese Pearson, Pearson with the ball. Oh, he's going off. Oh, he, he runs in. Tackled. Oh, tackle. He doesn't quite make it, but, you know. Right. Good from Reese. Right, Chicken's got the ball. Another Holden. double player, Reese, in our squad. Is it almost a try. And that's a try, ladies and gentlemen. The, the star player, Harry Holden. Harry Holden. Scored a try. Head of schoolhouse right there. School prefect, Harry Holden. We have a few words from uh, Lloyd Conker. Shamai, Shamai, Bob. Yeah. Back on now, we're back on com um, commentating. Oh, no, you can ride in Caridium coming back. I do. Michael Cree voice coming in. Should we just have a come ride? Yeah. I do, <laughs> I do great. <laughs> and we brought in Nick House back. <laughs> we ain't uh, four balls from goalie from the PDF. Come ride. Close off. So, Johan. Uh, it's okay, pop size. Nick House back on commentary. Oh, Nick. Oh, Aye, Nick. Lloyd Conker's going to go back on the water now. Yeah, we actually have a water boy. 
reclaim my spot. Eddie Butler. Yeah. None of us can go on, Reese. Energy on the mic, but what a smash! Good. Yes. Good physicality there. Clifton failing to meet Christ Cole's physicality. Oh, and there's a card. Oh, there's a and he's card. walking. And he's off. And there's he's a yellow walking. card. You know, in a game of sevens, having a yellow card is just detrimental to the game. Mein Kelted or Kaina or however my that's, that's six players on a pitch. That's going to make all the difference. These few minutes now, as first call it really need to make ground and make those breaks. That card was crucial for Clifton. I mean, we're in the knockout stages now, so Christ Call is really... One man overlap um, uh, for Christ Call. Too slow what happened there. Just going to give it a bit of a... Uh, ref. Oh, it's going to be Callahan. Next to still Skim. Oh, lovely long ball to Owen Conker. Yeah, we're not too, we're not too sure, but... Shout out to the big bro. That's what the ref says. Yeah. Let's get oh, in. Okay. And that's Harry Holden. That's Harry Holden ticket. He's having a hell of a Harry Holden. Today. What, like what an amazing player he, he is. He has had one a hell of a game. Brilliant. Six for three. And Harry he's Holden, I think two he is our player alone. of the tournament at this moment in time. That is a time. warrior there. What a day for him. Warrior. He is having a stormer. That's your school prefect, head of schoolhouse, Harry Holden. Yeah, he's a good head of school. I mean, he's just outstanding. Look at the size on him. I mean, yeah, well, yeah. look at him. He's running off now. He's probably completely tired out. Fair play to him. I mean, yeah, peak physical not. condition, Harry. We'll, s we'll see if we can get him for a few words later on. You think we could have words with him now? We can gain focus, lad. Beloved boys asking for a shout out over there. Keys, you want to come over? That's a no. <laughs> Say it. Upper Cox. Local youth team. Oh, and in the meantime, we've been distracted. Yes! But Dylan Skoom takes him down. The Colonel has taken him down. <laughs> That's Dylan Skoom, sevens captain. An all-rounded, brilliant player. All right, they're going to spread it out now. Clifton College. He's getting being told to shift out. And that he does. Off there. Oh. But they chip, and they chip it. Unfortunately for them, Reese Pearson is too quick on the ball. Ultimately, they just can't hack it. Oh, it looks like we got. It looks like we got a card for our number fourteen, which is Tom, Tom Voss. Voss. All right, Tom Voss Davis has got Tom a card. Tom Voss, although. We have a boy here asking to say a few words. This is Callum Ferg. Upper Cox, boys. The local youth team. Cap the youth. Captain of Seven Sinners, Skirm and his, his lot. Come here to support him. Keep the spirit going. We're doing, we're doing brilliantly. I mean, we're, miss we're missing some of our boys we had last year, but... Doesn't matter. The boys are still out here doing well. We have to look over to the screen. I'm not seeing. Yeah, much. I can't see anything. Right, Lloyd Powell. Lloyd Powell. Also for Gunnar Youth. Gonna, he's going to make a run. No, he's good off. The, oh, he's off the. He's just not going anywhere. Clifton are really keeping that pressure high on us. Oh yeah. Keeping that pressure up. But ultimately, right, it's, it's McIntyre now. Uh, standout player last time. Right, it's a penalty to Clifton College now. And yeah, they're going to yeah, get yeah. out immediately. Out they go, spreading it out. Number 14. Right. Reese Pearson goes they're in. They're trying spread to out wide. They're trying to penetrate. By you and Matt. They're trying to penetrate the undefeatable Christ College line. I must say to Clif Clifton, fair play. They're keeping the, the intensity up, pressure high. Really making oh, oh, Owen Conker. Oh. Owen takes him down. Bloody Wonky. hell. <laughs> Wonky really coming in with them shots. Oh, wow. Impressive.
aggressive now. I mean, that's oh. kind of I mean, I'm that's bash. And Clifton Cory Conker's brother, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no! Jack Perrins and Finn O'Donovan coming on. That's head and deputy head of Orchard House. I'll let you decide which is which. Right. Clifton College have scored their first try. Lewis Howells comes on. I mean, we're seeing some real pace come onto the pitch right now. Oh, it looks like he's going to be using his subs now. No, Rhys Pearson comes off. He's had a good game so far. Hopefully we'll see a bit more of him later. Oh, he's, he, he's definitely improved. He's actually playing well now, hasn't he? Rhys Pearson really just just really took it. Yeah, he's definitely Can't improved. play the first, first half. Right, 12-7. Yeah, Evelyn get, takes him out in the process. So we're at 12-7, Christ College, Brecon. <laughs> Clifton College. Right, get the no cat and goes for it. Passes it out to Wallace. James Hayward, for everyone wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh off, quick offload to Geffen. Can he give it to Finn O'Donovan? And he does! To Finn Finn O'Donovan runs. Can he get it to Lewis Howells? Oh, he's through! Oh, he scores. Yes! Brilliant, Finn. That's no that is just... Barry Man has scored. Man renowned for his Barry accent. Finn O'Donovan. Deputy head of house, Finn O'Donovan scores. <laughs> I mean, that's just bad luck. You know, I, we were in there just throughout, throughout, throughout. You know, he could have given it to Lewis. Yeah, Finn, he could have, yeah. But, you know, Finn took it in, made the right call. You see, Finn makes the right decisions, doesn't he? Yeah, and there, there he is. Finn O'Donovan has come off. He's uh, he's probably going to be knackered after that. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. And that's half time. That is half time. <laughs> Finn O'Donovan lies down on the floor <laughs> with a cramp. And all stretched. Right, team, hud team huddle now for Christ Hall and Clifton College. Some words from Gareth Jenkins. Good half. Thank you, Gareth. So, right, we're going to have some comments from a uh, Dill Skirms gang. This is uh, Reese Estee from Denovid RFC. Reese, what are your comments? Uppercut. Anything else to say? Um, Dill Skirms the goat. Uh, Dill Skirms he is. is in the fact the goat. The cocks are ruining every single team in this tournament. We've 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 just seen outstanding play from Christ College all day. To be honest, like they're relentless. I mean, the boys are working hard. They deserve everything they're getting right now. Right, Christ College got the lead now, but Clifton could easily uh, turn the tables. Can't I they? think they'd have to work hard to get through that green wall. Anything's possible in this tournament, isn't it? Anything is possible, but I hope. To s I mean. An unbiased perspective, but I think it could be any man's game. But unfortunately, I think Christ Call could be theirs. Well, it's not. I wouldn't say it's not. No, it's on Christ Call's YouTube. Welcome to those of you tuning in. Yeah. Right. The second half is just about to begin now. We see some fresh legs go on the pitch. On there, coming on. Harry Holden back on. We got Geffen O'Callaghan still on. Geffen still on. Jack Lewis Perrins. Howell, Stan Buffery, Wallace, Jack Perrins. Right, Jack per brilliant Jack team. Perrins to kick off, and we're away. Out. Successful oh. line out for Clifton College. Torch and Wallace gets, thro gets thrown off a bit wonky there. Okay. Forward pass. Of course, that works in the favour of Christ College right now. Yes. Started off well, hasn't it? Second half coming back strong for Christ College. Lloyd, I think you could be playing here next year. I think it's a very real possibility. Um, well, I, I would hope so, yeah. Uh, if I don't bloody dislocate my knee again in the process. You know, you, uh, you feel the pressure living up to two brothers who have played out 
outrageous. Oh, 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 oh my god, a chicken is home again. again. I, th I think that's a hat trick for him in just this game, is it? How, yeah, we need some comments from him later on, don't we? I think, honestly, I think he's. I think he might be my player of the tournament. How about you? Yeah, we'll see what happens. They've got they've got one or two more games to play, haven't they? I think so. But he's, he's certainly the top. He's certainly the top <laughs> at contender. At this moment for it. in time, he's just on a different level. He does not stop. Oh, he's nuts, isn't he? He's got he's got it. He's got it. He's got the magic in him. He's got it. He's got it all. I mean, look at him. You wouldn't want to tackle that, would you? No, I mean, no. When when he leaves um, leaves Bam, it'll be a great loss to us. I think lot. there'll be a lot of upper six leaving a big hole next year when they leave. Well, but we'll keep the legacy I going. I, for one, will miss this next year. No, we'll keep the legacy going. Don't you worry. Oh, must be it. Right, James Hayward's got the ball onto onto Geffen, onto Harry Holden. Jack Jack Perrins. Jack Perrins in once again. Sporting house representing well. Oh, All right, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd Powell's go for it. Lloyd Powell. Big boy he is as well. Oh, and into oh counter oh. ruck. Can Dan Buffery get there in time? Yes. Takes him out. Good job, Buffery. Brilliant, Daniel. I believe Dan's been scouted for Dragons at the moment as well, which is always nice to hear for one of our boys. Go on, Geff. Oh, Geff's holding him up. He holds him up. Oh, uh, ball's down. Although they don't want that ruck, obviously. The ball's down. Right. Out it goes. Oh, and they break, oh they no. break it through. They make it through. That's hell of a run. Can Jack Perrins catch can up? Can Perrins catch him? He just hasn't got the pace. Oh, Perrins, unfortunately. Oh. I mean, he's working hard. but he Und Under the post. But Jack doesn't have him. He gets it right under the sticks, as Mr. Thompson Right would under say. the post. That is a lovely break from Clifton College. You know, and that he had the cool presence of mind to go under the post with a nice easy conversion. And number 11, he's got the pace to him. Fair play. Clifton might be able to make, it, make a comeback here, but unable to do so at the moment. Right, so it's 26-12 for Christ College. I suppose 26-14. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Clifton College can continue the counter-attack. See if they can if they can keep that pressure off on Christ College. They might be in here. So, so oh, Lewis Howells, Howells goes, goes in. Goes down. Good hit. Wall is scrum half. Out to Geffen O'Callaghan. Geffen, Geffen just really knows what he's doing with that ball control. Offers Dan Buffery. And there's oh, McIntyre. And McIntyre. Can he get a try? We've seen throughout the game. Oh, and he's, and he's breaking through. Oh, Ewan oh. McIntyre. Oh, he puts his hand up. He's happy. He's celebrating. He's loving this. Oh, he's he waits and he waits and he puts it down. Really taking that those, those minutes home. Tell you what, there's some real competition between him and Harry Holden for player of the tournament, actually. Those two have had a stormer of a game. Yeah, they have. Nick Harris, they? any comments from you? Harry Holden is really clever. Good player. He's been class. Yeah, I agree with that. Ewan Mac not to take away from Ewan McIntyre's try right there. Out. Brilliant from him, though. I think he'll be he'll be sleeping tonight, though. He'll have a good night out tonight. I think the boys will be too tired. It'll be straight home and straight to bed for a lot of these boys. Not for me. Runs in. Right, so it's in the hands of Owen Conklin to Dylan Skirm. Oh, Skirm. Dylan Skirm, we've seen it. What he's oh, doing look at ball. him. And this is exactly what the he can do. The acceleration from the... Oh, and this, this is where the nickname comes from at the end of the day. This is why people call him Papa. That's the he's captain. Just, he's just on a different level. That's the captain of the Cox there. Super, a superb Cox player right there. Absolutely wonderful. And no, all right. And this is why he's captain. Like Dylan Skirm just knows what he's doing. That ball control, he's got wheels on him. <laughs> the acceleration that he's Karen got. Karen Jenkins, for your first time watching this, what do you think of player Dylan Skirm on the pitch? Fantastic player. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Hey, Reece Saunders-Jones, what do you think of Dylan Skirm's acceleration? Magnificent. I mean, it's 40-14 to CCB right now. I mean, the Brecon can just run different crazy of all he's day he's, he's, he's been he's persistent he's the leader. they don't they don't stop do they he's the colonel i do i have to right so they're going to try and spread it out to clifton college 
quick and making a few breaks right there. Although it's contested. Oh, it's good counter right from, from Geffen. Geffen. Right, Reese Tonka's going to want to try and hold it. Is he? Oh. Can he do it? He's running in. James Hayward running up on him. Right. With the score now 40 14, I doubt that uh, Clifton College can yeah. make a. Reese Tonka right there coming in on him. Make a I good mean, comeback. The, f the second Tonka foul we see of this game. And all three of them really are, as we said earlier, conquering the Welsh rugby scene. Oh, yeah. So we see quick substitutions as Finn O'Donovan enters the pitch as just Finn comes on and somebody's coming off. Nice Reese Conker breast. coming off, I think. No, James Hayward. He's played well, hasn't he, what, um, James Hayward? Yeah. Wallace has had a, has a stormer of a game. I mean, he's improved so much recently, but... I think he's really up there with the top players. I think he's been doing great for them. I remember the time when he was my uh, seconds captain. He was a standout player. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, and Clifton have made a brilliant break there. Number nine. I mean, Jack Perrins. No, Finn O'Donovan on the chase. Um, but I believe it was the end. Right. That I believe that's I believe that's full time now. I think that's not going to be enough for Clifton. They've got to try and call it. Although right, full it time. Like they've got a bit of handbags on the pitch. No, we've got shape. Hands being sh shaken at the end. Brilliant. I must say, brilliant from both sides. What do you think, Rory? Oh, I, I completely agree. I mean, they've both fought well. I both mean, Christ, Christ College obviously gave them the upper hand, but both sides deserve in a w of a win. But at the end of the day, Christ College are the ones walking away victorious. In the end, it's a good day of rugby, isn't it? Anything from you guys? Good game. Wise words, once again. Right, when they come back, we would like a few words from... Uh, if we can manage to get... I think we can manage to get some boys in, see if any comments from them. I think overall, the boys have been playing very well. And I think it's going to be... I think the tournament's going to be a close final. I don't know what positioning we're at, but... At the moment, we're setting up for Glantaff versus Sir Thomas Richards. That'll be, that's starting in uh, two minutes. Two minutes. As the Brecon boys come back in, smiles across their face as they're under they are still undefeated in their home ground. Brilliant from all of them. Proud boys. Say. They have done us proud, haven't they? Very, very good shift from both boys. I mean, we've got lots of smiles right here. Boys, boys are looking tired as the day continues, but... They're all smiling, as they should be. They're, de they're deserving of this victory, 100%. Well, Harry, Harry, right. We're going to have uh, a few Depends. words from Harry Holden. Yes, Harry Holden's come in. Yes, Stuart, how do you think the tournament's going? You've, you've been playing outrageously well today. Yes, the tournament's going very well for us. Uh, we've been consistent throughout and uh, scored a lot of tries. I mean, you, you scored a lot, I think. Yeah, I know. It's all teamwork. It's the main thing. Brilliant. Modest Warrior. man. And we're going to hear now from Papa Sco proud of the boys' performance so far. You know, they're going out there doing a hell of a job for us and the school, they're doing everyone proud. Let's go and win this. I think all of you boys yes. deserve that. Wise you words. You boys deserve the win today. They fought well, haven't they? <laughs> That's Vin tiring himself out, trying to chase players when <laughs> they're so far in front. But we respect the grind set from him. He works hard. Any words from you from that game, Finn? I just think we all class them. I think uh, Steve was um, spectacular. I think he suffocated them. I don't think they wanted it. I don't think they were as up for it as we were. I think as soon as one of the boys put a shot in, they they shied away. And I believe now we've got the squad, the depth, and the standout players to go and win this. We are now going to hear from uh, the only year 11 on the seven squad for Christ College Brecon. Uh, Reese, how's it feel to be the only year 11 on this squad? Um, obviously, it's, it's a massive privilege, privilege to play with these uh, very experienced boys. I mean, just playing with them and knowing that they've played at such a high standard has allowed me to uh, develop my game. And yeah, just 
allow me to prosper, prosper more within the first team. You've been playing well. Take it home for us. The biggest conquerors of the school. <laughs> Two brothers in Cardiff Blues. The third will, will be in there soon, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Well, and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Best be back. Best conqueror since William. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's happened with the live stream. We seem to have video down, but we'll stay on. Right, apologies, the video has uh, crashed. <laughs> I'll take that compliment, actually. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> it's, no, it's been on the whole time, it's just been on. Oh, yeah, I, I was playing that part. I'm going to be told... Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so we're just having some technical difficulties with the video, but you can still hear us. Don't have a score at the moment. Anyone agreeing with the score? So it's currently seven nil to Llandovery Llandovery against first against Blantyre. Mulvan, excuse Finley Shepherd's behaviour there. Oh, and it's a brilliant save going on. I know you can't see it, but Llandovery's just making some great saves. I don't know why they stopped. They've got they've got a lot of speed on them, Llandovery, haven't they? commentate on what's happening right now but because the TV's um, um TV's off so yeah, apologies it's been an overtime. Yeah. Okay, uh, Clan Dovery are in the pink and white yeah. and Malvern are in the okay blue and dark green <laughs> I don't understand line up from seven I see. Okay. I do apologise as well. The live session can be a little bit feeble. We're wor we're working on it currently. Swings swings blue. So does the sky. Do you think it might Somewhat be might be coming back on now? Do you think? What's going on currently? Unfor unfortunately, like spectators are uh, clouding our, our vision, aren't they? Press send after making it in on the live now. Sounds like he's being tried. Tried clan that so the score is. Christ College would love a bit of revenge in this tournament. Yeah, I think we were robbed a few weeks a few weeks ago for that loss to Clandovery, but but clan we can do now. Clandovery did play well, so did Christ College. I mean, they they both did amazing in that match. Local rivalry, rivalry, isn't it? Really? It is a good rivalry. It's nice to see the game come back after ten years of not being there.
I'm over now. Good team. Right, Landovery's oh, got the ball. And, and up they like go. Looks like have got the live stream back on. Have we? Let's have a look. Right, Landovery are going up now. Oh, and Landovery is just trying to make it on the line. It's nice to see you've got the scores up and running again, though. Oh, and Malvin have now intercepted from the ruck. Oh, and Malvin make a brilliant run. Spread out, and it's a good, good tackle there. Out it, it goes, Mulvin in possession. Apparently not, it's Lancaster Mill. Quite I a think slow our game. names are in our score. Our names are incorrect. Yeah, sorry, Tom. As many people have mentioned, uh, both teams are knackered after a hard game of rugby sevens. It's a very exhausting sport. Oh, it was a but hell of a run air. going on down there. We don't know who he oh, is. Oh, good offload there. Running, and it's good. And he's off. Oh, good tackle. Taken down. Oh, and the ball's back in Mulvin's possession. Oh, good pass. Well, it's going to be a try now. Good try from Mulvin. Good team. Take it down. It is Clan W Mulvin. Uh, scoreboard at the top wants to be to be wrong, but I think that's half time. 14 7 at half time. Yeah, so that's the end of the half. Yeah. Good half. Has been a good half, I can't lie. James Hayward, Wallace, any words from you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a good tournament so far. Uh, nice to score a brace and nice to be a part of this team. Um, things are going forward, you know, we're only getting better. Big, big games coming up, I think we've got. Glantart in the semis, I think. Um, so that'll be a nice revenge match from last year. Um, we took them in 15, so let's see if we can do the same in sevens. Brilliant. Do you Barrow James? Have a good one. We have Lloyd Conker <laughs> wanting to interview his uh, big brother, clearly uh, idolising him. Shall I, Rhys? Uh, speak a bit about the development of my game uh, so far. Are you your thoughts on the game so far? Far game. Well, a whole, a whole uh, tournament to either. Um... Felt to Edney, um, right, we um, we were just happy to go to it, to go to it in fact, to be brutally honest. My boys, Ma, well, uh, Chicken, Harry Holden, my, my play were weak, you know. Uh, I just, I just, um, be very proud of uh, what I uh, put up. Oh, he's been tremendous, hasn't he, Rhys? Actually, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I've been a legend, so. Oh, did you know what you're doing? 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 Seems like our, our deck is currently being <laughs> invaded by the Christ Boys Seven Turf Boys. Looks like the second half is about to begin. Everyone's getting set. Lots of tired faces on there, you can just tell. So, anyone got any predictions on who they think is going to win this game? Second half ready to commence now. Blow the whistle. Looking sharp, Malvin looking Great sharp. Great team from right. Clan Let's see what they can do. Great footwork from the winger. Played against. Great hands. Clan are a very sharp side. See, look at this. Oh, oh, big hit. Oh, bit of football here going on. 
Oh, oh play with some wide to wide. Uh, Let's see what he can do here. There. Excellent, oh. Dummy. Ah, oh, oh, brilliant play like from oh. Thunderbury. Molman on the attack, reaching the halfway now. Great footwork from the winger here. Tackle coming in from Jack Holding. Molman looking to work wide, keep it in the middle. Some great rugby playing here, keeping the ball alive, what Sevens is all about. Yeah, if you want to avoid contact at all costs, it's tough, don't we? Another double hit there. Sam John, one of those boys involved in there. Some tired bodies on here, you can tell. Oh, great footwork from the number seven here. Oh, Owen Charles Davis making two crucial tackles for the Thunderbury team here. Excellent defence from him. What we surprised if he comes off now. Here he comes. Uh, Cap <laughs> oh, a bit of ass walking on here in rugby. We're not sure about this. Thunderbury with the press and defence. Excellent. Pushing them back from the halfway to their own 22. Excellent defence from Thunderbury here. Good commentary from uh, Mucker. Let's see what Morgan Edwards can do from here at the nine position. Electrifying in that position he has been today. Absolutely wonderful. Lucky that will do. Lucky that will do. Great defence from Malvern. Oh, the pops out. Excellent pass. Not sure who's scoring that. Wait to see the number. On here, as you can tell, it's a great yeah, rugby going on here. Only one minute no left. Way. Overwhelmed, I think. Thunder every 19 14 up. Let's see if they can win it. Or will Malvern come with a attack out of nowhere? Rugby Lewis. <laughs> Here we go. 30 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what Malvern can do. Now, mind, it's two and a half minutes left. Oh, uh, 19 14 to Thandabri. Oh, Thandabri back. Let's see what they can do with this. Here comes Morgan Edwards. Run down the left side. Let's see what we can do. Great little dummy. Shut down by the Malvern. Ah, oh, it's a little dummy from Owen Charles Davis. Is it Owen Charles? No, it's Kai Clark, sorry. Excellent try from, we were through to see his number. Jack Holding. Driving through like a rhino. Thunder Reed, 
play in so strong. They're, they're a good side, and of course, we reckon, we reckon they'll win. Do you reckon it'll be us against them in the final? Soon to find out. We will soon to find out. I mean, I'm sure a lot of boys here are keen to, keen to have that rematch, even if it is in seven. Seen many tight faces and bodies on here. Seen some of the Thunder Bay boys on the screen here, walking off the pitch. Oh, bit of phlegm there. I mean, as someone that plays myself, you can see it's a tiring game and it's a tiring game and all, isn't it? This is, I believe, it's the fifth match of the day for them. Fourteen long minutes. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what the boys on the pitch can do. 24-14, the Thunder Great take from the number seven model. Great feet. Let's see what, see what they can do. Great keeping that ball alive. Oh, is this a jacket from Sandabry? Oh, I'm phone auction up with it. Oh, never mind. Sandabry, I've got the ball. Oh, my Charles Davis taking it quick. Let's see what they can do. Oh, unfortunate from Harry. Wind zone, knocking the ball on. 30 seconds left. I believe this is Sand Lovery taking the win. Be a great bit of rugby today. I've been enjoying it so far. Thank you, Gloria. That insightful view has probably helped people at home understand a lot better. Last play of the match. Let's see what they can do here. Looking to go wide. Oh, great bit of oh, rugby. Yeah, oh, the overlap's on. Well in that great game, footwork so. from the Malvern winger. Oh, he's still on his feet. How's he still going? Proper well timed, though, aren't they? Really oh, it's on wide now. Let's see if they can use it. Square up, though, buddy. Great. Go on, number seven. Oh. Great bit of defence right there from Sandavri. James there. Toe, I believe. Oh, been ripped by Sandabry. You know, number two, he's in. I, it looks like he's almost gone. Ah, uh, almost there. Oh, Morvan with the ball back. Great little jacket from their, from their squad there. Ah, oh, some tired bodies here. Some tired bodies at all. Great rugby, Thunderbury 24, Malvern 14. Brilliant, that's full time now. That was a very good game, wasn't it? Final score was 24 14, I think it was. Yeah, 24 14 to Thunderbury's first. Lewis Howells joining me on the microphone, ladies and gentlemen. How does it feel to have a microphone in your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I was unneeded there, yeah. I, I do unneeded. apologize. He's worked really hard all day and he doesn't deserve it. Fair play to him. He's had an outstanding performance today. Lewis Howells, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. How's your day been, Gary? It's been What's good. Going on the pitch? Uh, not a lot on the pitch. Running up and down the linesman for a few of your games, but... Um, I haven't worked nearly as hard as you boys have, I'll be honest. Oh, you thanks boys really you. deserve it. You boys well deserve what's coming. Predictions for the semis, come on. Um, who do we have in the semi-finals? Christ Colleges and Glantak. Glantak were last year's winners, I believe. I really, really... Hello there, Liam. How's your day been? I can't lie. Oh. It sounds like we've just beaten them on Wednesday in 15s. Um, no, we beat them. I don't want to see a Christ College. All right, so how have you guys found the tournament so far? Uh, it's it's been a bit, a bit of a long one, you know. Me and Liam going back and forth. Some nasty words being spoken. But it's all fun and games. Because the cocks are on top and balls are down low. Oh. You've had a good shift yourself, haven't you? Yeah, I shifted her into third a couple times. Like, got stuck after third, but that's all you can do today, you know. Uh, that's tidy. Anything else to say? I'm sweating more than a gypsy with a mortgage right now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> Apology. <laughs> I was inappropriate comment. No affiliation with that. <laughs> As a representative from uh, not the school, nothing to do with <laughs> Bracken or Christ College. We apologise to those folks you at home. I, I am so sorry. That we was. We will not hear him <laughs> on the microphone again. <laughs> that was inappropriate commentary. I am so sorry. <laughs> Draw him ears. Uh, do we want to? Right, we won't be having that person on again. We do apologize, though. Right, right, that was that was inappropriate. <laughs> it is Ollie Rose about to join us on commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Ollie Rose, why aren't you playing? Uh, I injured me, basically. Yeah, hurt, hurt my shoulder. Uh, very sad injury. Would like to be playing, but unfortunately, it's uh, not meant to be. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely being missed on the pitch today. I think you'd be in that sevens team without a shout. Uh, yeah, well, I was supposed to be, you know, but we are being sensitive. <laughs> but Don't but worry, you know, Nick, we've uh, asked inappropriate people to leave the pitch. Yeah, two are very uh, very appropriate people to be with. It is Johan Jenkins and Ollie Rose. Yeah, no, it's uh, we've had uh, we've had quite a few uh, good games today. Really good games of two halves. You know what I mean? Um, really good atmosphere around the campus here. Yeah, so uh, it's been a really good day on my behalf. A lot of happy faces around me today, which is really good. Rowan's looking really happy in the booth here, spilling some bars. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate that. Rory Mears has got his, uh, has he got his dealer boots on yet? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my name's Bill Skimmer, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with that, eh? Huh? What's wrong with that, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, someone asked me earlier where I was from in New Zealand. Uh, I told them I was from Whakatane. Beautiful place over in New Zealand. Lovely blue skies and water, eh? Nice, easy word to say. Whakatane, really good word. So, yeah, where are you from, mate? Um, I'm from Tadiga, I am. Well, what are you doing on here, mate? Well, I thought I'd come see the boys that was in order. Coming up, we have uh, Christ College versus Lancash. Oh. In 15 minutes. That'll be a good match, wouldn't it? Predictions on for that game. Liam, what do you reckon? Uh, I was a really close game last year, so I think Christ College will do it this time. So it should be a really good game. I mean, hopefully, yeah. Hope so. <laughs> Lancash, last year's winners, beating us last year in the semi finals in a similar position as we are now, actually. So. So how long have we got till um, uh, the, the match? 15 minutes. All right. We'll all enjoy that. It'll be a good game. I think they should just keep playing like this. So uh, just try and uh, light, line it up. I mean, what's what standout players have we seen throughout the tournament today? Oh, well, well, two people we've already mentioned. We talked about um, Harry Holden, otherwise known as Chicken, and uh, Ewan McIntyre. Yeah, Mucker. I mean, obviously, we have, I haven't got a chance to see much other games. I've been focused on the Christ College game. Um, but I think there's quite a few 
the number seven for Millfield is also a very bright player. Yeah. And al- just before she left. And also, uh, Callum Ferguson from uh, Llandovery Seconds. Yeah, he um, scored a standout try in the second half. Number ten, 10 for Clifton. Yes. Yeah, uh, Dylan Skirm is the uh, captain. Pap Pap Skirm, the captain. And we got Liam here, who should have been playing the fourth game, but but the fourth, but, but yeah. Uh, like our last try, Charlie Thorne and Robbie Bigger played, but <laughs> we'll be back back next year to watch. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the 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 ball would the ball would have done us proud. Oh, and the and shoulder, and the, and the shoulder. The shoulder. Yeah. He's he's looking quite sad now. He's reached the semi final, you know, but. To be fair to Liam, he's had he's he's had a good season. He's a, he's had a very good season. So yeah. Nothing to be too sad about. Yeah, I see. So it's like it could be us versus Llandovery in that final. In that final. And that and that and that will be one of the most dramatic finals in a seventh tournament ever, I reckon. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but it, in terms of local area, yeah, for Brecon and Llandovery, that there's a big, long-standing history there. I hear that it's the longest school rivalry ever. I, I sounds about right. Both schools doing hundreds of years old, so seems like quite familial. Yeah, wouldn't want to miss it for the world. So the boys um, for Christ's Call and Landovery and uh, Sam Taff, they'll all be warming up soon. Yeah, it doesn't can't be much longer now. Um, ten minutes. We're gonna we're gonna disappear for five. Give you guys a chance. We'll be back now. Over and out.
minutes. We've got five minutes left until uh, Christ called take on Kandath. It's been a long wait. we're back. Uh, we have 
Christ College versus Glanpath in the semi-finals. And with me now, Meg Island. Go team! Uh, a big supporter of the first 15 and the seven, the first seven, especially that of number 20, I think. Who is 20? Finn O'Donovan, number one fan right here. Guys, it's about to start. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the team today. Um, and looks like the Christ College boys are coming back out, getting set. Getting yeah. They've been warming up. They're getting ready to go back out. Are getting set. Looks, yeah. looks like they're about to get in. A little team talk led by Dylan Skirm. Semi final, same position as last year, hopefully with different results for Glan Path. I can imagine the intensity in that talk right now. I can see Ooh and Matt giving a good talk in there. The intensity will be high. Here, big celebrations here. Oh, and I'm here with the girlfriend of the player of the tournament, Julia. Any words from you about Harry's performance today? Yeah, he's been too tight. Great comments. <laughs> and we see straight away, Brecken is straight on it. Mucker trying to hold him up, trying to get a driving more going. Pushing in, he's got, oh, he floors Tom Voss, I think. Right, this is going to be a great rock fight there. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Penalty, from penalty to uh, Christ College Brecon. And uh, Harry Holden, They're otherwise known as Chicken, is off. Dylan Skirt passes out to Tom Voss. Oh, and Tom Voss and is Tom in. Boss. Oh, not quite. Oh, not not quite. quite. Harry, Holden. Harry Holden's is over. He in for another try? Yeah. Harry, Hol Harry Holden, Harry. ladies and gentlemen. Any comments on his performance? Julia. <laughs> He's done her proud. Roaring ears, everyone. <laughs> Making a <laughs> but Harry Holden is just having a hell of a day today. Right, for non-stop. First minute, Harry Holden, Holden has scored the first try for Christ College Brecon. <laughs> Boys coming on. <laughs> Jack Ferrens is coming on as Tom Voss Davis comes off the pitch. Jack Ferrens, head of Orchard House. Owen Conker comes up on him. Right. They gotta keep pushing to they gotta keep <laughs> putting on that pressure. Good tackle from Harry Holden. Owen comes up on him. Sends it wide. Comes in. Can he get past Ewan McIntyre? No, he can't. Right, Clan Tap are gonna try and get out of their um twenty two. Gives it wide. Oh, beautiful oh. intercept there. Oh, Ewan McIntyre, Ewan McIntyre. It's held up oh. at the moment. Not quite. No try. That's held up. Although, T TMO, TMO might say otherwise, but who am I? That's uh, questionable decisions on the pitch, but TMO. <laughs> right, so, so it's, it's okay. It doesn't it matter. It's Reckon a scrum. Will make it, Reckon will make up for it on the pitch. Reese Pearson feeding him the scrum. Glantap 
Oh, and Grant. Penalty to Christ Hall. Mr. Christ Hall is penalty. Right, spread out wide. Oh, interception. Penalty's Klandaff. So Klandaff steal. Klandaff making a good right. run here. I'm going to try and spread it out now. Gra oh, Klandaff oh. making a hell of a run there. Good line break. Oh, he floors him. You can't deny that he's just, they're just making good ground here. Dylan Skirm making his tackles though once again. Geffen coming on for Dylan Skirm. Keeping energy levels high. Right, Dilskum, the captain, is coming off. Yeah, pretty evenly matched in, in seven. I think it'll come down to who wants it more. Right, Reese Pearson passes it out. Oh, Steve Geffen making another good run. And Although Geffen of Callahan is uh, by the intensity from Glantaff. Riding his way through. Physicality from them is out to McIntyre. Now to Conquer. Now oh, to Reese Pearson, Pearson on the wing. Oh, beautiful run from him, and he's in. Brilliant, Reese Pearson, everyone, number Re eight. Reese Pearson's first try, you reckon? It's with the 12 nil to CCB. Reese, I think so. Reese Pearson's first try? Uh, I do not know. I could not make a point on that. I think it might be. Could be a good one, I though. I think Reese Pearson's had a good day today. Maybe uh, he's trusted himself with that try now, and he's also yeah. making the kick. Oh yeah. Or, or not making the kick even. <laughs> Luckily for Reese Pearson. Right, McIntyre's now coming off. Liam McIntyre comes off. Lloydy comes on. Lloyd Powell from the Nigan. <laughs> Jack Perry taking the kick. Reese Pearson again. Glantaff good catch there. Are they going to try and make a run? Glantaff going to try and spread it out. Good hands on the Glantaff kick. Knock on there. Physicality from them. See, Lewis Howard is getting ready to come on. Lose contact. That's the boy who's putting pace in everything. Runs back to Glantaff. Right, scrum now. Scrum. Owen Conker, Harry Holden. Oh, Geffen makes a run. Right, that was good. Good. By struggling to Ooh. get him down. Good handoff from Geffen, Geffen there. Oh. <laughs> Right, Lloyd's going to make Lloyd a run. Lloyd run. Powell. Can he make it through the Glantaff line? Yes, he, he can. can make it through. Lloyd, he makes one. Yes, Hell Lloyd. Oh, brilliant from Lloyd. As Rhys Conker comes Well earned comes try. On and Lewis Howells comes on. Well earned try. Good try from Lloyd. Well earned try. Rhys Pearson coming off as Dan Buffery comes on as well. Two substitutions being made as these boys are getting tired now as the day comes to an end. Hands in. Working hard they were. Who's been working hard? <laughs> There's not a single boy on that kick that's not pulling their weight. <laughs> right, the score so far, Christ College 19, Glantaff 0. I'd, I'd like to see Glantaff make a bit of ground, to be honest. Good tackle Good from Lloyd Powell. From there. Harry Holden goes in and takes him down. Oh, Good brilliant tackle. There. Harry Holden. Oh. You see. We see. We see the boys stay calm, cool, and collected. 
and that's and ultimately that's what's going to make a difference. Good score for the first half, isn't it, Yaron? Yeah, brilliant. I think um, I think I think they've run track. They haven't done great in the first half, but I think we'll like to see them pull it back now, maybe in the second. But we'll have to wait and see. Harry Holden has proved his worth, hasn't he? Yeah, Harry Holden. Throughout the performance, he's, he's really taken all the glory home today. Yeah, he is. Used to be with Van Dover, didn't he? I guess he is an old Van Dover boy. Yeah. Um, but he's been with us for a long time, Harry. Um, so we like to see him play. Any comments on Finna Donovan's performance today? Yeah. Obviously, the boys in for a team talk now, led by Mr. Parry. And Glantaff, we aren't sure what's going on in their huddle right now. Glantaff um, would want a solid counter-attack and come through. Uh, Meg Arnie would like to say a few words, apparently. Both in their team huddles right now. Glantaff probably getting the talk of they're going to need to work hard now for the second half to hopefully make it back. Both coaches would um, want their teams um, pinning it all they can. It'd be tense to see what, what not. Yeah, I think uh, Glantaff now in this second half, I think they'll really be working hard to make back this ground. And last year's winners, they'll be looking to leave today with a bit of silverware, I think. It's all about the intensity, isn't it? And we're off to kick off now. Um, try a solid set to receive. Zach Terrence catches it. Oh, he's taken down. Good contact there from Glantaff. Oh, Owen Conker's oh. made a line break. Well, that's Lloyd Powell, I believe, actually. Oh, is it Lloyd Powell? I think. Oh, it's Owen Conker. Owen Conker. As Glantaff hauled up for a maul. Well, he's going to try and spread oh, out. Jack Terrence has got the ball. And this is Owen Conker to Jack Herons to Lewis Howes. Lewis Howes makes some good ground right now. One of the quickest boys Glantaff in Wales. Aren't letting him go anywhere. They're really holding their own. It's getting cold out here now. Dylan Stearn comes on for Jack Herons. Both have had very good games so far today. Good kick. Right, oh. it's on the chase now. But Glan Lewis Powell, Lewis, Lewis Field, Lewis. So it looks like Troy Scott is playing in their own half. Glant have finally been able to score a try. But Dylan Skirm not allowing of it. And is that Harry Holt? No, Daniel Buffery. Daniel Buffery really making a run. Oh, but it's a great offload. But that's quite a high tackle. Oh, hi, Jack. We see this is a yellow card for one of the Glantaff boys. This is just unfortunate. He grabs him by the back of the back of the shirt, taking him out on the clothesline. I think is what you know isn't allowed. But that's a yellow card, so Glantaff now playing with six men on the pitch, and it's going to be a real struggle. Games are going smoothly for Christ Solid. Oh, it's, uh, 26 nil, try solid. Hopefully, Glen Glantaff can make a bit of ground now, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Because it got into them to go home. 
Ecuador that I uh, really love to watch. Right, that's all of them. Both teams are very tired. It's been a tough day for everyone. Atlanta makes it to be a good ground. Oh, not quite enough. Right, Wallace. Right, penalty for Sandow. Quickly pass. If they can get it out wide quick enough, they can possibly get through. Oh, good tackle ball. from James Hayward. down from Christ College, James Hayward, hopefully he's alright, to Daniel Parry and Mr. Patterson having a word with him, checking out how he's doing. Did you see what happened there? I didn't. Um, you know what happened? It's uh, James Hayward coming off, prone to injury, James, but he's had a great day today. <laughs> he really gave strength to the James Patterson over there. The off. Right, the game continues now. Good tackle James there. James back on. Winston's off. Hopefully he's all right. But oh, he'll be fine. making a great break there. I can't lie. Come on, boys. Makes it through. Right. Lewis Howes got Good the ball and he's going to try and run Lewis this Howes. now. Can he run it? Bit of pace on him. He's running fast. He's running hard. Is it going to be enough? Look at the pace of Lewis Howes. Lewis Howes, Howes makes it Lewis Howes, oh, Lewis. Lewis Howes from Blackwood. He scores. That's a great, that's a great twy from Lewis. Outstanding. Owls. He's coming off. He's tired. Who can blame him? He's been playing all day at that pace. He's a, you know, sprinting all day is never going to be easy, but he's doing it. So he t see Lewis Owls comes off as Tom Boss Davis comes on. He's a he's a quick winger, isn't he? Very quick. Well, he is a Welsh in, in, uh, sprinter, so yeah, we're seeing the wind picking up a bit now. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, conditions are definitely getting worse. Yeah, but. Hands in the hands of Lloyd Powell on the ball. Oh, no hesitation. He's Lloyd Powell straight through. Lloyd Powell. Unfortunate to glance off, but Lloyd Powell. That's Lloyd Powell's second try. Really calculated what was going on, caught the ball and just ran fast and hard. Well, we're in two minutes left of the game with CCB 38 and Glantaff nil. Right. That was a very good try from Lloyd Powell. Well deserved. And uh, yeah. Glantaff still need to put a score on the board. Yeah, they do, boys. Really going to be worn out now, but they make it through to the final. Which is probably, which it's could looking, be. It's looking promising. It, it is looking promising. It could be against Van Dudbury. Who knows? I don't know what, how, that, how the other ten is go it going, but who's up next? I think that's next, to be honest. Christ, Christ College set the kick. Glantaff set to receive. Right. Devin O'Callaghan with the kick. Yeah, he's got a good, got a couple of kick in a similar position. And Not away we go. The trying green. To, trying to set up, same as before. And to, oh. Oh, and Glantaff make a brilliant catch. And oh, he's running. He's, he's running all the way. That's some brilliant pace on him. Although oh, good tackle, Gav. Offloads it, but Daniel Bruffrey intercepts it. Good pass. Tom, it. Tom Boss is Boss free. Tom Boss known he's for got space, space with him. Can he get it to Jack Perrin before he runs? It? No, he can't. Gethard O'Callaghan's got the ball. Gethard O'Callaghan runs through. He runs fast. He runs hard. Can he make it through? He Good offload to Jack Perrins. Jack Perrins with beautiful hands on him. And he puts it down. And that is Jack, Jack Perrins, Perrins has scored. Score prefect, head of Orchard House, Jack Perrins. Head of Orchard for you, Yoan. Jack Perrins has scored. My house, my house, man. <laughs> Wait, no. 
I had a house, looking like we we're reaching full time now. The end is nearing. Uh, it looks like it doesn't look likely for Grand Theft to come back. Although the finals on the horizon for Christ Cole. You know, if they can, it'd be impressive, but no, it doesn't look like the time's there. And that final whistle. It's <laughs> over. 43 to CCB and nil to Grand Theft. That really is that well is a brilliant score. I mean, we stood with some supporters in here who are clearly all looking really happy with the results for Christ Colin. Go Christ Colin! Go Christ Colin! Yeah, that's that's what we like to hear. Ross Davis and Meg Eiley cheering up, on their school. Up a CCB, eh? CCB on top. And that's full time for you. Christ College forty three, Glen Taft zero. That's. <laughs> That really wasn't a close game, was it? But I think Glen Taft worked hard, but ultimately it wasn't enough. Uh, but we'll be able to find out who we'll have next, who will be in the playing semi final. Looks like Christ College. I'm handing over to Meg Eiley now, who wants to commentate. This is the bowl final. Can you get me Corden? <laughs> Can you get the score? Taunton have the ball. They're throwing <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Go on. Good. Oh, this guy's good. He's still oh, I think he's going to get a try. <laughs> That's a try for Taunton. So Taunton. They convert. That is the question. <laughs> right, number ten. Ah, oh, perfect. Seven nil to Taunton. to kick to Collegiate. Oh, and oh, oh no, that was a knock-on. Taunton's got it. Oh, I think that was a knock-on. That's not good. But I think you're right. I think. Six is 
scrum to police here. Could we get some space for some people to come up? Some people need to come up. Yeah, we're ready to go. Um, or is it? Yeah, do you want to say something? Any final words? Actually, do you want to say something? Taking it correct, he's off. Oh, look at that. Did you see it on that guy? Oh, he's oh, really fast. Easily done. Bro, that guy's fast. That's a boy. Nice one, Jake. Good job, Jake. What a try by number seven. That is superb running. Fair play. Who do you think's your favourites to win this match then? Uh, red team. Red team. So, um, you also mentioned Taunton. Taunton. They are, aren't they? Um, I mean, I know some of you have had a rough day, but maybe this could be a chance to make make it back for them. Hello. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Oh yeah, it's a it's a very intense game. Uh, both sides are doing uh, phenomenally well. Uh, especially the one that's winning right now, that's now nineteen uh, nineteen ahead, uh, nineteen points ahead. Uh, but I'm uh, most of all looking forward to uh, the final between uh, what looks like to be uh, Clan Zavri really tries to call. Uh, Josh Field but, uh, I, I uh, wish making some requests to me. Which I, wish, I wish the best will, of luck to all these, uh, be, uh, be all these players that are about to play their second half. Wouldn't deny him that wish. D Thank Leader you, School um, are looking for a solid counter attack. It's not all uh, over. Inspirational words have come in from for the Ewan half. Doyle, a player from last year, telling the boys to keep it up. Captain from last year. Year, I'm told. All right, but right. This is uh, one of the Christ Cole players, Lloyd Powell. Lloyd, what do you think of the game so far? This is an interesting game, quite a close affair going uh, on here. Pearson, you, you know, l lovely try. carry and some good runs going on. You know, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun game to watch, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just resting, lo looking forward to our final, our cup final. Can't wait to get involved. Yeah, we all, we all can't wait to watch it. It'll be a, it'll be a right good. I'd just like to uh, go back to amend what Rory Muir said earlier with Rhys Pearson's try. That was actually his fourth try of the day, and he's had a stormer of a day as of all of the Brecon boys. Right, number two for Collidia is really playing well. Um, they're playing well. Yeah, it's a good call. <laughs> but they're playing well. I mean, so far it's not looking close. It's Taunton with 21 and Collidia nil. Why right, they're I going mean, for the big hit? At this point in the day, it's really coming down to who has more energy more than anything because everyone's tired and ready to right. go home. Taunton's off. He's gone. Taunton's can, he's gone. No. can they catch up to him? Oh. No, they can't. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a try. Excellent finish. Excellent. Hooray for them, I must say. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself, Lloyd. Yes. S same Williams there. Yeah. Uh, Arkham, the Brecon Beacons today, the area of South Paris. Come on, come on, South Paris.
half time, um, 26 nil to Taunton, really. Was it? Yeah, they're, they're, they're ahead. Yeah, they're, they're, s they're playing well, I don't think. Col um, Colgate are going to have to uh, really get their act together. Now we're at uh, half time. Lee Pearson, that was your first try that was there. Uh, how'd you feel? It was my fourth safety with Rory. It was your fourth. Not to undermine the player because he's had a brilliant day. Yeah, that, uh, I mean, what an improvement. I mean, you are, you are a star player, I have to say. <laughs> Anything else to say, Rich? No. no. Lewis Howells, everyone. Hello, everybody. Approaching the second half of this game. Colgate are looking very nervous receiving this kickoff. <laughs> Hopefully they don't, they don't drop it. What a nudge Balls from the, the Taunton 10. Colgate oh. haven't dealt with it well, and it's gone straight out. Went out. Taunton so line like out, I believe. Yes, line out. Taunton in a very good position on, on the pitch. Colgate ball. No, not Col Colgate ball. Taunton ball. Is that a star player? <laughs> so. Oh, lovely tackle. Thank you, Fincher. Flick up on the floor. He's running across. Will he make it? Popped up. Oh, it's gone in. Oh, there we are. What a, what a step. There it is. The gap's open. Straight through. Number two. Easy. Make sure to stay tuned in for Christ College and Dudley final. 4.30. Matt Price. <laughs> wow, what a game. What, what do you think about that, Lee? It was a good finish on that. Great finish. Kicked it over. Well structured keep. Taunton have definitely dominated this game. Well, I think the score the score clearly shows that, Lee. Thirty-three nil to Taunton score. Ripping Colgate apart. Well, that was good commentary from Lewis Howells. Now on to you, Eric. Rory. I mean, it's nice right now. We're still in the test with uh, the Brecon Senior Rugby Sevens. I'd like to shout out Joe Reese, who's in Prague right now. What a bloke. No, he's, yeah, he's a good. I mean, he's a, boy, he? I mean, he's a bloke and a half. Here today, really. I mean, he really just brings that energy. I think Joey's just having a heart operation as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I think hopefully he's back in soon. Yeah. Uh, Brecon Sittings is in soon. Colgate have still got to put a score on the board. Right. Colgate have got the ball. So it's now a scrum to Taunton. Looks like we have a 
from here now. Um, right, they're looking to spread this out now. Oh, there's a lot of kit. Oh, just went into the dead zone. I mean, Fuller's yet a word at large, but Sean's name wasn't really on the radar for a few weeks there. Yeah. All um, the college needs to do is to uh, get a score on the board. Exactly, but um, right. who, who do you think dominating this on this bomb field? We'll, we'll, we'll have a look now. Loose ball. Right. Penalty to uh, College Gate. Trying to find a way through the uh, swordsman line. It's a scrum to Taunton now. Right, they're looking to uh, pass this out now. Out it goes. Oh, good offload there. Good and good try from Taunton. Well and try. Okay, we're back. So we're in the second half of the bowl final with only one minute remaining. It's 14-0 uh, to Taunton School. Um, Collegia really have struggled today, but they've played some brilliant rugby all throughout the day. They've worked hard, and you know, you know, I'd say they, 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 they as much as anyone have earned would have earned a victory today. But unfortunately, not everyone can be winners. So that's the end of the game for um, for, ta for Taunton and uh, College Gear. 52 to Taunton. Right, Gary Owen, we're, we're finally uh, you know, here comes the uh, the moment. So it looks like it's that half full time. No, half, 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 yeah, full, full time. time. Full time. Match finished. So that's. Uh,
Taunton winning the cup. The bowl plate. I'm being told three different things here. Um, <laughs> but the ultimate, but the ultimate, yeah. the ultimate match, the ultimate match is going to come very soon. Lander versus Psycholic. Mm -hmm. This is uh, an anticipated rematch. I think a lot of boys want it, but it's so they're so tied at this point. I don't think they know what they want. Next game coming up is going to be Hartbury versus Dean Close. Right, Hartbury. Uh, so we've got Hartbury versus Dean Close tonight. That'll be starting in five minutes. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I think that could be a really close game, I can't lie. Yeah, Dean Close um, are a good team. But Dean Close have played well, but Hartbury... I've heard good things about Hartbury. We've just had the bowl final, next is the plate final, and then we'll be finishing on the cup final. I've heard, I've heard positive um, things about Hartbury. Okay, so... Uh, I'm here with Tom Voss. He's oh, had a he's had a stormer of a game. <laughs> he's just double checking that we're speaking nice things about him. He's very worried. <laughs> I don't know. What have you got to say for us, Tom? It's been a wonderful day. Thanks, Tom. Really insightful. That I think everyone here has had a wonderful day. I think every anyone I'm yet to see anyone without a happy smile on their face. Thanks, Gas. <laughs> anytime, anytime. We've got three. Yeah, three minutes away. Yeah, in three minutes it is kicking off for Hartbury Dean versus Dean Close. Oh, uh, Hartbury College. That will be a good game, I think. I mean, who is your money on for winning that game? Mm, I wouldn't like to say, but I'm going to go with Hartbury. Although Dean Close have had a very good tournament so they far. Have. Dean Close so have <laughs> lost two games so far that I'm aware of. Yeah, two games. So I mean, but Hartbury are the kind of best team to be reckoned with. Yeah. Um, well, but well, you don't know in games like this. At, at this point, everyone will be tired. Exactly. Ev short so games as well. Every second counts.
So one minute till kickoff. Both teams are getting set in their team huddles right now. We're just thinking about the intensity that's being chatted in those huddles right now. Both teams probably screaming at each other about how much they want this today. Yep. Yep. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one. We see Hartbury setting up to kick and Dean Close setting up to receive. We don't know what the... Okay, and uh, we're already set. Looks like we're starting off straight away with a scrum. Um, and as you've seen earlier, Hartbury have got quite a big pack on them, but so does Dean Close. So it'll be interesting to see now who's going to be doing what in the scrums. They're looking pretty evenly matched. They set it in, but it looks like Hartbury really drives them back. He offloads the ball, sends, sends it wide, coming back in. Dean Close keen to make some ground as they are playing in their half. Somewhere no one wants to be at this point in the tournament. Oh, interesting pass there. As you can see, Dean Close running straight into contact there, but they're still winning. Dean Close taking a big hit from Hartbury, Hartbury right there. Oh, he chips and he chases it. Although Dean Close managed to get that ball, pass it into D. Obviously, the ref not happy with that. I don't know what that is. So the ref's not happy with something he did. I think it's another scrum. We're setting up a scrum now. Sorry, Darcy. Passing it. Hartbury looking to come back. He's making some good ground here. Does he want to run it through? Is he? Can he make? Not quite. Well, I can't actually see it from here. Oh, wow. A little oh, over. Oh, and he gathers with oh, his hands. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to run. Oh, Is the Hartman player going to catch number five, though? Number five, what a oh, step by number five. five. Through. Number, number 11 is on to him, though. Can oh. he make it, number five? Wow. Oh, number five wow. can make it. And what, what a try. try. Great determination there. Right under Same the post. Brilliant to put try it down. there. Who was that? that? Receiver? That Dean Close. Dean Close. Wow. Oh. The question is, will they make the conversion? I think it's likely when it's right under the post, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, you never know in games like these. You never know what could happen. They didn't. They did. N yes, they did kick the conversion. I apologise. Be real now. Hang on. Oh, take it, Ollie. <laughs> I apologise for that short delay. It's uh, be real time. So lots of people. Uh, Excellent knock there. Hartbury making oh, some Hartbury ground. Hartbury making a brilliant run. He's got some pace on him, that boy there. Number nine gives a good hands off. Pa offloads to the seven. 
Seven oh, offloads it. Oh, out of the wing Will on the front two. Indeed, indeed. Looks like the top Collins boys getting warm now. Getting ready. Those boys will really be wanting to earn some silverware. As you can see, Hartby are finding it quite hard to break through Dean Close's defence. Dean Close have been good with their defence all day. Yeah. But Hartbury, oh. Hartbury managed to fi Hartbury find a way. And they've, they've done it. They have done it. Under the posts as well. So we're looking at another, another seven points as well. Yeah. Which is good for them. So Dean Close has just are now it's seven seven. Um, both teams working very well, but it's looks like they've gone out and cut. So they'll be looking for another line out. possession by Dean Close. They're really trying to make it through. They don't want to be playing in their own half. As you can see, you know, the pressure's on. They want to walk away with a bit of silverware today. Another scrum here. Looks like Hartbury have really dominated the front against Dean, Dean Close in the first half. Once again, showing their strength. But their number nine makes a good run. Off to the 15. Can't quite make it through. Dean Close's defence again. Showing oh, but Hartbury, oh. really unstoppable. Oh. But doesn't look like the try is not on. No. It's worth calling them back. Oh no, we've got a number 15, we've got a man down on the pitch. Um, we're hope, hoping he's all right. Um, he's, he's out. Uh, so the game's, the game's, the game's stopped for a moment. Um, uh, I ho we're really hoping he's all right. Um, obviously the priority is the young man. So um, we'll give you a minute, we're gonna give you a minute and uh, check if he's all right and we'll check in again a bit with you later.
can't read the UK's game will no longer be streamed as it's been moved to another pitch. But the cup final, um, which is Clan Dovery versus Crystal, will be soon starting on the Switch. And hopefully the young man of Blair Vale will take them back to their home ground.
please clap the young, young gentleman off. Good performance from him. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah. We send him our best wishes.
It looks like Christ College are getting set now, ready for the cup final against Llandovery. <laughs> the boys walking on, led by Dylan Skoom, our sevens captain. A real sevens specialist, Dylan. Oh, no, I'm looking mistaken. They're just walking across the pitch. So it looks like they're going to be running out of the changing rooms. I'm being told that the marching band will play as they come out. <laughs> fire engines will, <laughs> will spray. Don't know where the fire engines are. I think this will be a very good game, Christ College versus Llandovery, to be honest. I mean, after last week's loss against Llandovery, I think Christ College will be keen to make it back. And at the same token, Llandovery will be keen to hold their ground and prove that they can beat Christ College in all, in all aspects of the game. Today we're here with one of our injured players, Liam, how do you feel about missing out on this experience? Well, no, it's uh, obviously heartbreaking, it's such a good day to miss, but you know, I can still be here and watch it all, so it's alright. Supporting the boys? Oh, it looks like uh, Sandovery subs coming out, so it can't be long now as the boys start to come out. Brilliant marching bands playing as they all walk out. Don't know where the acrobats are. Quite a dramatic entrance. Yeah, let's see if the boy, if the boys from Brecon can uh, take it home or keep it home. We're gonna. I think we're gonna see a very close game here. Um, both two very strong sides. Uh, so the boys scream, getting ready. Really mi missing some voices from last year, I think, in there, but they're making do. Just Ewan and Coyle telling me to speak up. Cheers, Coyley. And that's the whistle as the match starts. Sandovery set to receive. So here in the final of a long day of rugby, it's been as Christ College play for the cup. Gethin does not stop, powering through. Knocks it out of his hands there. Looks like we're about to be set for a scrum. So, uh, the scrum of the game. It is. Uh, we look like we've got two very strong packs. So uh, we've got the number one, Kai Clark, number two, James Toon, and number three, Sam John. 
Um, I, again, it's just fretting through. I think it should be a very close game, to be honest. And Dovery, good offloading from them there. As they run. And Dovery in the pink, Brecken in the green and gold. Good, good contact from Dylan Skirm right there. They throw it wide. Great interception from Ewan McIntyre, who grips hard onto the ball, not letting them take it. As Rhys Pearson dummies it and runs hard. Harry Holden clearing that maul. Dylan Skirm attempting to make it through on his feet, and he does. Dylan Skirm almost through. Looks so Brecken are given a good opportunity here and Gethin makes a good run running through them good strength Hope we might be able to see a try here from Lloyd Powell right under the posts and then we had it. but disallowed unfortunately I believe as we sit as we set for a scrum. Oh. Okay, and as we see Reese Pearson, no. Powell. Lloyd Powell, I apologise. The final, brilliant try by Lloyd Powell there. Great from him. He's had, again. Lloyd Powell's another player that's had a very good day. He's he's a big and strong boy. Lloyd kept physicality up throughout. Although Christ College don't quite make a conversion, I think. Currently 5 nil to Christ Call. Oh, Dylan tries to make a run, but he's called back. Looks like it's going to be a scrum. Once again in the scrum, the Thunderbury front pack with Kai, James and Sam against Harry Holden. Ewan McIntyre and Lloyd Powell. He cuts it in. Rhys Pearson on the outside, ready to get them to their nine. Bit of a late tackle going on over there. Looks like it's a, we've got a line out. Alright. But. The intensity all around here is high. You can feel emotions are high. The stakes are high. N nobody wants to be on the losing end of this game today. Reese Pearson throws it well. Get in. Tom Boss Davis out on the wing. Can he make it through? Yes, he can. Because Tom Boss Davis has got some good wheels on him. Offloads it to Dylan Skirm. Gives it to Gethin. Who throws him out into Dutch with some just pure strength. Outrageous from Gethin. That's second try of the game for Christ College. And I just think there's some brilliant performance there. Breaking to make the conversion now. Captain Jill Skirm's just come off for a bit of a rest. And she so, Lewis Howells and Reese Conker have just gone on for Tom Boss Davis and Dylan Skirm.
Oh, okay, Gethin makes a good dummy there. Gives it to Harry Holden, who's had a very good day today. Makes some good ground there. Gethin gives it. Ewan McIntyre offloads it to Lloyd. Oh, brilliant try there from Reese Pearson. What a try. I think the, the Brecon boys have really sh shown shine today in the Sevens tournament. 15 nil to CCB at the moment. Will we make the conversion? I hope so. Keep going, boys. Keep going. And we made the conversion to seven to bring the score up to seventeen nil to Christ Paul. Bre and Brecken Hart just playing phenomenally well. Um, we'll see now. Sandovery probably make make some more ground now. Sandover set to receive. Good catch right there. As he runs up. Sandover sling it. Ewan runs in on him. But Sandover, I've just got a bit too much pace for him. Gethin takes him down. Doesn't allow it. Ewan dives on the ball. It's a, it's a good steal there. But not quite a steal, apparently. Landovery boys making some ground here. <laughs> and uh, Landovery's first try of the cup final. Will they make the conversion? See, uh, the score's going to get a bit closer now, maybe. Um, and I guess we'll see. It might be a closer final than we think. And that's half-time. <laughs> An interesting first half, filled with action. Um, really, just straight from the get-go. Half-time score being 17-7. Christ College seem to be giving Flandover a bit of a hard time in this game. We've now reached half-time um, for the last last game of the tournament, the cup final. Rory Mears. Reese Pearson has had a very good try there. Yeah, he's had good play. And uh, other standout players, I would say... Uh, Gethin O'Callaghan, he's been um, getting some good hits all together, keeping the uh, momentum of the game going. And uh, if they keep up the intens intensity, then I think we'll, uh, we'll make it. Thanks, Rory. See the boys in the in their huddle really gonna want this now. You know Sandovery, biggest rivalry for the school between the two of them. Both teams gonna be wanting this victory today over the other. Boys are getting set now for the second half. Second half, it's up to receive from Sandovery. Good run there from Sandovery.
Declan holds him up. CCB defence making it hard for Clans Ugly to break through. Oh, but they, they break through. through. Reese Conker chasing. Really, he's really run. hoping he can Great get him. Run. It's a good run. Yeah. Brilliant try saving tackle from Reese Conker there, I must say. He'll be tired after that, I'll tell you that. And every attempt to make a second try, make it through the green wall. Making the score 17-12. That gap's getting closer now in the second half. It'll be an interesting uh, finish to the tournament. I think both sides are bloodthirsty and wanting to win. Some uh, subs coming in off. Reece Lewis Conker. Howells coming off. Going on for Lewis Howells. Reese Conker's come off. Replacement is Tom Voss Davis. He's had a pretty good, pretty good day. And Sandovery kick up and run fast. Finn O'Donovan with a beautiful catch, and he runs fast and hard. Been make, making a run again. As the, the crowd cheers, Reese Pearson goes to kick. Passes it to Dylan Skirm. Who offloads it to Harry Holden. And he powers through. Dylan there rocking over. Gethin offloads it to Dan Buffery. And that's a try in the corner for Finn O'Donovan. Brilliant from him. The boy from Barry in his final year here of, of Christ College. I'd like to send our best wishes to Tom Lowry, who's uh, got some surgery coming up this week for his recovery. Yeah, Hopefully he can get back in soon. He had his shoulder operation on Friday. Wishing him the best and speediest recovery. Brecken setting up to kick as Sandovery set to receive. The current score is 24-12 to Brecken. You see, Mc Ewan McIntyre steals the ball. It's the Brecken crowd cheer. Of course, that is one advantage of being the home team. Oh, and James Hayward with a good run offloads it to Gethin, and Gethin puts it down. Another try of the cup final, bringing the score to 29 12. I mean, Christ God is really not, not leaving a gap there. They just, I mean, making such a big gap. Gethin goes to take a drop kick for the conversion which from this distance can be quite hard, obviously, as we see. So, James Hayward has just come off for a breather. Well, Lloyd Powell replaces him. Lloyd's had right. an amazing game, amazing game today.
another substitution is Dan Buffery's been taken off for Harry Holden, who's gone now. And every setting up to receive once again. Good kick from Gethin right there. It's the number 10, Owen Griffith for Van Dovery. Makes a good run as he picks up the ball. Trying to run with Reese Pearson there. Oh, Harry Holden really puts lays into him there. However, Van Dovery holding well, holding their own back strong and constantly. And they'll be really looking out to get out of their, of their own try line here. It's a bit close to comfort for them. Ewan McIntyre chases. Although that ball can be unpredictable. Offloads it to Lloyd. Harry, Harry Holden. Brown. Once again, Harry Holden Amazing has... Try from Harry Harry Holden, otherwise known as Chicken. Brilliant performance from him. What do you think of uh, Harry's performance today, Darcy? Yeah, Harry's had an amazing day. Quite a few breakthroughs, quite a few tries. Just a great day in general. Yeah, he was off. There was no stopping him. bringing the score up to 34-12. As Harry Holden comes off, he's probably going to be knackered now. I think it'll be uh, straight to bed for him. Finn O'Donovan back on. Poor kick there from Brecken. It's just falling a little bit short. I mean, it's the price of you get tired. I mean, Sandovery really keen to make it through here. Just get those few tries that they need to get that cup. But it's going to be a difficult one for them. We'll have to wait and see. Crest College holding the ground. Don't want to, don't want to give Van Dovery an inch. Ben uh, O'Donovan faces it against the eleven of Van Dovery. Josh Jackson, he makes it through. Not quite enough though. Just offloaded it to number 11, Josh Jackson. But Christ College. Christ College take the steal. They're really hoping to make some ground here. Reese Pearson offloads it to Dylan Skirm. Reese making a good run. Back in the hands of Lewis Howells. Who, as we've seen, is the gas man. Lewis Howells catches the rugby ball and scores a brilliant try. Great from you, Lewis. And puts it down. And he will be knackered. I mean, Fair enough, after all that. <laughs> and that's a win for Christ College Brecon. Final score, 39-12. Their first bit of silverware this year, I think. Um, so there'll be some happy faces on that pitch. Um, That's a brilliant sevens tournament from Christ College. The boys have played brilliantly. They deserve the win, undefeated all day. Their first bit of silverware for this, for this year, I think, and they deserve it. They've been outstanding all day, classy players, good boys, and I'm really happy for them. They deserve it. Brilliant well done, boys. Thank you very much for tuning in here. It's been 
It's been a pleasure commentating on this today. Thank you very much.